Brando, I finna slam dunk. Get big on you fake pumps. That bump in the fake pump. Bitch, fit for the pump fake. Got him talking like first take. Get it right on the first take. Hit the hole in the first. All right, man. Another episode of Long Order. Yeah, y'all have. ready for this Long Order episode? For sure, that. As y'all see, man, we got a uh, new but old guest in here. We got uh, Damo, aka No Drinks on Mo. Drinking, drinking some water. <laughs> hey, bro, that's your new name, bro. No drinks on Mo. How you feel about it? Shit. Kind of ring a bell. And Damo been sober for uh, slightly sober for t- for the last two days. How you feeling, man? Uh, going through. You got withdrawal. your two day chip. How you feeling? Going through withdrawals like a motherfucker. So y'all see me sweating on this episode. That's why. <laughs> oh, he for real. Too. <laughs> that's you feeling that shit? Bad. Hey man, hold on, hold on. Hey, you might as well drink a beer. Fuck hold it. on, before we get into your sobriety, bro. Um, Why first thing first, happy birthday, Tupac. We gotta start there. You happy know, birthday, one of the greatest people to yeah. ever walk the face of this earth. A lot of you, a lot of you sissy ass niggas is letting Pac down. I know nah, that's just real, bro. Pac, Pac, Pac paved the way for y'all niggas too. Y'all niggas Why got the, y'all niggas got nose piercings and shit. If it wasn't for Tupac, y'all wouldn't have that shit. Pac made that shit like cool in the I black ain't gonna community. lie, I've been gay. Head yeah, ass. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, look like Tom, what you looking like that for? Did you have a pride shirt on the other day? I support pride. Yeah. Oh, so you gay? Nah, I just support it at the moment. You not gay? Oh, at the no, moment? I, I that just, shit could change though? Nah, I'm saying I support the movement. Oh, you oh, support the, the movement? movement. I think yeah, it's why, the moment. why are you such a big supporter? Gotta let people be who they are. Yeah. Gotta do that. That's like I explained Like when you have a son And you're real good at football And he come up And he wanna play soccer You just can't make the man play football Put your mic down So they can see your face a little bit Can't make the man play football So you gotta let people be who they are Yeah So uh, Blue said it was because You got gay family members That's not <laughs> true That's not true I do Is that why We you all got Everybody got though? gay family nigga Oh yeah I mean just being a human being And Blue, living life you know Blue said Damo got like Close members that's gay I do might I don't know, but Blue tried to cap us down and say he ain't got no gay family members. Yeah, that was the weirdest <laughs> cap I ever heard in my life, bro. I ain't <laughs> never met a nigga in my life. He said we have morals and values in our family. <laughs> I said, whoa, <laughs> hey, same shit you said, Dumbo. I said, so you ain't got no gay people, but you got this kind of people. He said, bro, 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 bro don't talk about my family. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, all right, whatever. But anyway, back to your sobriety though, Dumbo. So day two, how you feeling, man? I feel better. Like everything ain't foggy no more. Like it used to be. <laughs> what you mean be, foggy? This shit crazy. Shit used to be like one long ass day every day. <laughs> Even living one long day. The twenty four hours never stop. They stay the same. Hey man, all day. so yeah. for the people listening, it's this movie, and Big King kind of fucked my head up with this. And mm-hmm. this is when I really knew Blue was slow. Because me, because we both watched the movie and he didn't get it he at all. Get that shit at he all. was just lost. He was in outer space. But I, but as soon as it came on, I knew exactly what Big King was talking about. Because Big King was like, bro, he called me and was like, bro, it's this movie on. Uh, was it on Amazon? Yeah, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon Prime. Y'all, y'all need to go watch it. It's called Bliss. B L I S S. Right. Yeah. It got like a white uh, cover on it or something like that. I can't remember actually. I don't know, but it's got Owen Wilson and this guy. What's the other bitch name? I think I tried to fine ass Mexican lady. Yeah, that, what's uh, God damn? I forgot her name. She's so fine though. But yeah, movie is she great. Mexican, right? Yeah, she Mexican. Yeah, she was fine as a motherfucker. Yeah. But yeah, he told us to watch the movie. So it was late at night, and I was tipsy. I wasn't really drunk, and I thought I was tweaking at first because I ain't, I ain't gonna tell the whole movie. But some crazy shit happened at the beginning of the movie, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And I'ma just. Tell the, tell the end part too Without telling the movie also At the end You realize what reality is You realize what Was fictional Because he was just a high ass drug addict mm-hmm. And what the reality really was And he was going in and out of consciousness mm-hmm. And as I was watching that I was like oh, He talking about Damo <laughs> Damo do you think you experienced Those type of experiences Yeah most definitely yeah, get on the drink. Everything go out the window. Off the drink, he's just like, "Damn, this real life for real." <laughs> it's what that really shit suck a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, it do. So, how life be hitting when you be on the drink? That's the yeah, <laughs> 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 night club. 
That bit, hey, let me take it back for you, young nigga. It be crunk as fuck on the motherfucking drink. Yeah. Y'all say lit. I be crunk on that bitch. Crunk <laughs> on that bitch. Hell yeah, I be Bruh. drunk. So then, so then, like, when you get sober, what, what does, like, life look like at that standpoint? Right. You got to get up. You got to go pay some bills. You got to go to somebody's company and work. Yeah. What about when you ain't got the money for the bills And now you sober It's time to get drunk Cause you can't think about that shit ain't it Nah it ain't time to get drunk it just, it, You just gotta get, get right You know what I'm saying So you know It's it's a rabbit hole That I ain't trying to fall back down You know Why you trying to uh, Why you trying to sober up though Shit The goddamn shit was on my liver too bad so, Oh okay Doctor told me You know Cut back <laughs> He said cut back <laughs> That's my daughter told me for real. Cut bike. Well, Cause I had I just I usually go to the hospital. Yeah. And I usually try and figure out what the fuck was wrong with me. And every time I used to go to the hospital, I'd be like, You need to stop drinking, your liver numbers are too high and shit like that. Yeah. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never know how, how, how they was until they till I finally read out my paperwork. Cause I just come home and throw that bitch in the closet and got damn keep yarning up again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'll be yarning up but, again. <laughs> but I be out the lit cup at the hospital too. Yeah. So I get out the hospital, I go goddamn and turn up again. And then, you know, I said, I finally looked at my goddamn paperwork one day and my damn dick almost dropped down to my <laughs> goddamn nutsack. <laughs> and I start Googling the numbers. And that bitch was like, cirrhosis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, I yeah. Googled cirrhosis. They said, that bitch cancer, bro. You can't mm-hmm. not come back from that. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was like, all right. So then I had a doctor's appointment probably about, I want to say about three weeks ago. She mm-hmm. told me my liver wasn't failing and it was back to normal. Mm-hmm. And I had not dropped for like a whole month, uh, five weeks or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Then I was in the studio one night and I was trying to make music. And like I just went the same. Like It ain't feel right. It ain't feel like right at all. Like Maybe because you're not supposed to be doing that shit. <laughs> what you no, mean? No, not really. Music. <laughs> you had that. Nah. nah, that's what you love to do, do it. But Nah. I can you, understand. If you sober, you've been sober for five weeks and you go what? into the studio and you like, something don't feel right. Maybe that's because <laughs> nah. you're not supposed to be nah, there. Nah, but here's the thing. That's something the thing is. You gotta separate something that you love doing from something that you love doing. Yeah, really. Dama, so, which one you like more, music and doing or drinking? Them, doing them together. Yeah, is is up. It's lit, lit. Bro, you know one of my friends told me one time that the only combination that's better than peanut butter and jelly is cocaine and tequila. I ain't gonna lie, Jacob be saying that shit. Yeah, yeah. So oh, my that's bad. Probably- my bad, Jacob. I ain't mean to put you out there like that. That's probably that's probably what it is for uh, Damo. The music and the drink, that bitch just go, nigga. Be hit. That bitch be off the lit cup. That bitch, <laughs> midnight club. <laughs> Niggas giving that. That's how you be coming up with the hit smoke. <laughs> to be honest, bro, my whole first take, good, uh, the good weekend one. Mm-hmm. I got so lit every night. They threw me out. They threw me out the studio. I was so fucking blacked out drunk. <laughs> <laughs> then they had to call me the next morning. Well, I'm at the store about to get fucked up all over again. Mm-hmm. And they be like, what you doing, bro? And I was like, shit, finna go to work. They be like, so you ain't had nothing to drink? I'm just gonna have to be yet. Like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, you know he's at the studio. <laughs> hey, what the fuck with that, Domo? <laughs> A black hand. Yeah, <laughs> and, so, and so, and so like I hadn't even know I ain't even know I was at the studio until they tell me to check my emails. Yeah, and I'm listening to that shit. I said, I was like, I was like, bro, this shit actually kind of sound good, you know? It sound good. And then we got through the whole project, and then when the project two called day drinking because I wanted everybody to come to my world for a little bit. You know what I'm <laughs> See what the you fuck wanted, going you on. wanted to bring the audience into your world. <laughs> yeah, you let know them know what, what the fuck going on. I gave your drunk ass world. <laughs> I gave him, the first one was kind of more like an album feel, you know, a, ba- yeah. a nice balance. So, day, Dom, day well, I, didn't, just, I didn't mean for this to be an interview, but we here now, so. uh what were you thinking in that video that you and Blue did at Freaknik? Like, what was going through your mind when you laying on the ground drunk as hell and this and this ratchet ass bitch is twerking on top of you? Man, I felt like May Park felt like Cuba out there to me, but I felt like I was on vacation. But I was out the tequila. <laughs> I had about eight shots in, four black cans in. God damn, <laughs> you was trapped. That nigga was blitzed. Nigga, God, I damn. didn't even know that we shot a video to that shit, bro. God damn. So, just sent it to me. So, what were you thinking when you first seen it? I, got it, it cracked, it another, I cracked another can on. I said, man, I'm going to post this bitch right now. God That's damn. what happened. Well, can I tell you what my perspective was? Blue came over here and asked me questions about how to edit it, of course. 
And I looked at the screen and I said, bro, that shit looks like hell. <laughs> Blue see, Blue just seen a bunch of ass shaking and so he said it's lit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was Yeah, like, I'm not a fan of like the ass shaking and the twerking shit. So that shit look like living hell to me. And I seen all the girls online arguing with people like Brandon Mims and them. And they was like, oh, it's just a themed event and woody woody woo. But I'm like, and I was on their side. I was like, yeah, it is just a themed event. Mm-hmm. But uh I'm also looking at the footage online like, oh, nah, y'all bitches thought this was Freak Nick for real. Y'all thought y'all was in 1994 at Spelman. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just a way to do things, bro. And some of that shit just be distasteful. But I'm team women, though. If you want to goddamn Whoa, fuck 30 million that's niggas. That's like the biggest cap I ever heard of. No, no, life. I am team women. I'm 100% fine with, with women being hoes. So you a feminist? Yeah. I this want, is slim I want is women to pop that pussy and give my niggas some pussy. <laughs> I am a feminist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga slim cap as fuck, bro. No, that ain't. Pop that pussy and give my nigga some pussy. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Pop that pussy and give my nigga some pussy. Because if being a feminist is being sexually fluid, I'm 100% with y'all. Yeah. Dish them bitches out like hotcakes, nigga. <laughs> give everybody some ass. I you mean, know what I'm saying? Just scrap that shit up. I mean, every day freak neat nowadays. You think yeah. so? I told you I can't go twelve pictures on Instagram with a, without a bitch with her. The first thing I see is her ass. Well, Damo, that's because your algorithm probably a little fucked up because you you a little ahead of the curve. I don't even, bro. Damo algorithm probably crazy. Yeah, bro, you a little ahead of the curve, like yeah. nigga. You was the first nigga I ever met in my life with an iPhone. Yeah. You the first nigga I ever seen on Twitter and Instagram. Like you just ahead of the curve. And when you first was on all this shit, you was into some weird kinks, bro. Like, bro, bro, let me tell you one of Damo secrets. What? So I used to catch Damo jacking off all the time Because <laughs> we both used to be in his uncle basement yeah. and This like, shit of mine in his business ain't it <laughs> <laughs> that shit kept that, hey, He so, took that bitch to the grave with his ass <laughs> Bruh so goddamn Like this nigga be in the bathroom And I knew he was in there spanking He used to spank like seven times a day yeah. So I would like kick the door in, That's back in And that bitch would be like man get the fuck out man chill out <laughs> Bruh, so one day, so one day he left the iPhone because the iPhone was off. He was just using that bitch to spank. Yeah. So one day he left the iPhone on the counter and he went upstairs to get some food or something because he used to make this stupid ass shit called an Indian dish. Mm-hmm. It was like some bap ass white rice <laughs> with some dry ass gravy <laughs> and some dry ass chicken, right? And he yeah. said it was Indian food. It was stupid as fuck. So he went upstairs to make that bullshit. So I opened up his phone and I'm like, man, what this nigga be spanking to? Bro, it was nothing but twerking videos. <laughs> <laughs> it was twerking videos. <laughs> man, what's up with the twerks, man? Blue liked the twerks, too. Oh, no, no, no. Only video that was different, and you could tell that was his, like, top braided video, mm-hmm. was it was, like, this big girl with these big, huge-ass titties mm-hmm. and this purple dildo, and she was just slurping all over the dildo <laughs> with the big-ass titties on the yeah. dildo, bro. I yeah. know you remember that shit, though. <laughs> I still put hey, that bitch still send a match to me shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with the BBW that big man. Damn, hey, BBW no, no, no. That man. was his top video though. Like he fucked with that. It video. be certain shit, bro. Like it's, bro. It's like certain videos that I know. Like I, it's not, it's not what I like the most. But, but it's saying, something though, I watch the most. I'm frequently. saying though, this is something that I noticed about what Damo's into. Damo's yeah. not into videos of people having sex. Nah, he like weird shit like twerking. Yeah, yeah he like to see a girl twerk or see a yeah. girl play with herself. Like, mm-hmm. he don't need no dick in the video <laughs> whatsoever. He just need the girl in the video. Like, are you that type of nigga? Nah, it gotta be some fucking. I gotta see some like fucking. You, you wanna see a nigga goddamn. Yeah. Bop, bop, bop. And, and Actually, I ain't gonna lie. Yes. I gotta see <laughs> that <laughs> shit. Me too, bro. And I ain't Me gonna too. lie. If he got a little wee wee, I can't, I can't do yeah. it. Yeah, and it can't be uh, white. That shit slightly. It can't be it's, white, slight, bro. it's slightly gay. Cause sometimes I be like Is this gay because he got a little dick And I don't wanna watch this shit Nah it's not gay bro You don't think so Nah Cause I it's wanna like, know Because bro we're Is that gay? We're men So we're visual So mm-hmm. when we watch porn We're like imagining ourselves in the porn Because we're not that creative Exactly, exactly So yeah. we're imagining ourselves there So if mm-hmm. it's a little white man With a little white dick a little white and pink dick, like we can't, we can't yeah, do just, nothing. It don't, it don't, yeah, it, it just, it just don't do shit there. for us. It's like, bro, this ain't it right here. It's not like, there. shit's yeah. slightly gay though. It's like a, it's nah, like it's a, not gay. It's like a five on the gay scale. Nah, if if it it's is. on the gay scale, and I don't think it's on the gay scale, it's a one and a half. Nah, I think it's a little gay. Nah. Sometimes I'd be like, I'd be I be thinking, think, I think it's like, gay that niggas don't want to see the dick on the screen. 
I think that's gay. Whoa. Why you say that? Hold up, boy. <laughs> because, <laughs> bro, fuck? like, like, what, Dama, why y'all niggas don't want to see the dick on the screen? Like, y'all scared? Nah, it just ain't no need. I ain't gonna never forget. I seen this uh, when I first started watching porn. This bitch was on her knees, sucking a nigga up. He was face fucking her. God. The camera was up under this nigga nuts, and this nigga nuts was flapping back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I got to close up that bitch so bad. <laughs> Why? Hell no. I don't, I don't like seeing see shit like, like that, that either, though. Hell Why? No, bro. It's just. And niggas don't, don't cap it out like they ain't never seen that shit. I know, yeah. I know some nigga personal fetishes when it comes to goddamn bitches, bro. Yeah. You know what I said to each his own, man. I, I can't drive on a nigga. All right, Dom, tell us your fetish. Go ahead. Since, since you're open book, get close to the mic. I know. I know Damo's a titty man. He's, yeah, he's definitely a titty. I man. love titty bitches. Man. Titty. Yeah, he's and a I titty love man. bitches with that Glock Glock three thousand. I fuck around and go to sleep on your ass for the rest of the night. Shit, <laughs> telling you, good that's head. it. Yeah, that's your only I'm, fetish. Yeah, other than that, it's, it's every. I'm used to it. It's normal. I, it's too normal now, bro. Yeah, you see I, it every I day. Ain't gonna lie. It's nothing when, to be happy about it, no when more. When it comes to black men, when it comes to sex, we kind of basic. We just want to goddamn bend that ass over. We want some head. Yeah. We ain't we ain't the niggas like, you know, put doing butt plugs and all kind of extra shit. You know what I'm saying? It's usually, that should be funny in movies when uh niggas get in their sex bag real deep and they be trying to hang themselves and jack at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be up, bro. That's what I'm saying. You ain't ever seen that before? Yeah. Oh nah, folks be into some crazy shit. Bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Folks be into some real crazy And it's shit. like it keep getting crazier and crazier and weirder and Our weirder. Are niggas that like to get spanked and niggas that like oh, to that get pissed shit. on. But that's that's usually like white boys and shit. Yeah. You know Did y'all start watching black porn first or white porn? I started black. With, I started with black. I started with black. Oh, you started with white? Yeah. Damn. Ain't no, no black. What, what, what was it that you watched? I can't even remember. So, you don't remember the name funny? of the star? Nah, I can't the remember. Star? I think it was the bitch with the big ass titties. Well, the first naked girls I ever seen was uh, fatass.com in the back of the Double XL magazine. That's the first really? time I ever seen naked girls. Even the first porn I ever watched him play on, you know what I'm saying? First porn yeah. I ever seen was Booty Talk, Roxy Reynolds. It's the first uh, porn I ever seen. She was I remember her. Him and a girl, named, a girl named Candy. She was, she was a real thick girl. Yeah. Sarah J. Sarah J. That's Sarah her name. Sarah J. That's oh, love, I love Sarah shit, J. Boy. That's I love vintage. Sarah J. That's vintage. Sarah J. That's yeah. vintage cat right there. That bitch on the wall, What's the other yeah. white lady name? The old white lady with the, with the big fake titties. Oh, I know who you talking about. I know you talking about. I used to watch Heather. You talking about no, Heather? No, 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 no. It's another bitch oh. named Heather I used to fuck with. She got like fake lips too. Fake lips? Oh, you you threw me off with that one. She she one. older. She older now. Then Sarah J. Yeah, I can't remember her name. It's gonna come to me in a minute though. But it's an older white lady. Mm. Sarah J. And Heather. The, the first people I seen on porn, and I was like, yeah, this is shit I'm talking about right here. Anymore. My nigga Mo, man. This nigga Mo gonna goddamn have us go to the freaky deaky path. Man. <laughs> this was supposed to be a law and order pod. My nigga got us down the freaky deaky path. Hey, and look, oh man, for the people listening too, man, I don't think y'all know my nigga uh, Mo got a criminal justice degree, yeah. so that's why he on here. <laughs> yeah, this is um, the law and order pod, and my nigga got a criminal justice degree. Where'd you get your criminal justice degree from, Dominique? Uh, Georgia Southern. I got a magnum a Google lot of on that bitch. You know, what I'm saying I Google everything, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a Google lot on that motherfucker. That's what was your shit. toughest class in your program? Public safety. <laughs> Public safety. <laughs> Public safety. This nigga that was the most difficult one. Public safety. <sighs> well, stop the violence. I do gotta ask though, Damo, before we get into the law and order shit though. Go ahead. What was the reasoning for trying to get sober though? I just really, I just want to know. Cause I'm like, Man. if Damo, if Damo trying to get sober. I might be fucking up because my ass, I'm out here drinking, bro. Like, like when everybody keep telling you the same thing because. When I'm, on, when I'm in a rock star mode, mm-hmm. and I think I'm being cool, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm being cool, but just not knowing really exactly what's, what's happening. Mm-hmm. And everybody was looking at me going like this now. They're like, bro, you need to, you got to chill, bro. You done turned oh, yeah. it up way too much now. When everybody keep, tell, when everybody <laughs> keep telling you the same the thing, end, yeah. yeah. Everybody keep telling you the same thing, and then they start losing hope in you and shit like that. Then yeah. you kind of like, damn, bro, I don't want to be out this bitch without no, nobody to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> When they tired of talking to me about the same shit they've been talking yeah. to me about, so you just kind of realize, you know, cut it back. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna just stop drinking all the way. Who was the people yeah. that lost hope in you? Everybody. I, yeah. Nah, keep it a bean. The person that hurt you the m- uh, most was Quay. I ain't even know Quay lost faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news! <laughs> Breaking news! You hear it here first. That nigga ain't even know. <laughs> You heard Breaking it here first. News. Quay ain't even fuck with me no more. I ain't even know it. <laughs> So who was the people then? I ain't gonna talk about it. Keep that information. Yeah. 
So what you gonna do moving forward to get better? Because you said you stopped for five weeks. No matter of fact, what made you uh, get back on the horse? I told y'all that goddamn. Oh, you talking about getting back sober again? No, no, no. Excuse me. Get off the horse. What made you? Uh, what made you pick that drink up for the first time? Oh, you said when you went to the studio, it just didn't feel right. So what you? What did you drink that you night? Get back in your bag. But you already know I went to Black Can Land. You know I'm the president there. See, I I think it be them though, bro. Them bitches be taking you to the next level, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think if you just stop doing them and just like had a couple beers, that's what he been doing the last two days. Yeah, just have a couple beers. I think the first day I gave that nigga like two Heinekens. He was cool. He was yeah. chilling. Yesterday he I think he drunk like a Corona. Yeah, cause you hey you you at the stage now where you can't just got them cold turkey. Yeah, 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 I know that yeah. should be hurting bad, bro. Yeah, you have and to my stomach be hurting. I be balled yeah. up on the couch. Yeah, but the phases I go through when I go through withdrawals, like the last time I quit for like five weeks, I didn't even get withdrawals at all one time. But I guess I was just doing so much, I didn't realize it if I was going through it. Mm. But like you were sweating, probably so. That shit helps. Well, sweating. Yeah. Well, the other times I don't. I just sweating started sweating. Exercising helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, my stage of withdrawals. The first day, I can't eat. My mm-hmm. stomach started hurting. I started getting the chills. Then I get the heat flashes. Then I get the chills. Then I get the heat flashes. The chills and the heat flashes. Then God, the second day, my, my body start aching all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then I go on for about three, four days. Then probably about the fourth or fifth day, I start getting like this. I start getting real clammy, real sweaty. Mm-hmm. And then everything be real cloudy within those three to four or five days. Like, mm-hmm. like my balance be feeling like... It's used to having the, the liquor balance. <laughs> the liquor balance. I get that serious. I, I know. I'm trying to tell you some shit for real, bro. Bro, so um, like it's weird walking outside now. Like I go, I like walking outside now. Like mm-hmm. I just walk to McDonald's. So I'm like you gonna walk to McDonald's? Yeah, because kind of balances me out. My, like my equilibrium. Mm-hmm. Kind of, I can kind of feel the earth better. Before yeah. I was just walking outside. Like, <laughs> that was <it> floating. <laughs> that was floating through that. Man. Yeah, I would lose my days of the. I would lose my days of the week. Like yeah. I'd be all out my days of the week and shit mm-hmm. like that. So like that shit. Damn, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, Damo. When you do something, you do that motherfucker, boy. Yeah, that nigga come on 10. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I drink. I drink a lot. Not crazy, but like, yeah, I'm gonna have me a couple beers when I get off work. Yeah. I'm gonna have me some drink on the pot. Alcoholism is a spectrum. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I never. We I all ne- on the spectrum. Oh, of course. Yeah, because yeah. if, if you drink, you on the spectrum. Yeah. Um, I'm like a I'm probably like a solid 6.5 On the alcoholic spectrum 5.5 And got down Damo Damo went to 11 But you But you gotta realize I'm a a 4.5 though You gotta realize Like Think about this Like It's like a whole bunch of people In a circle around you Just pushing you all around the circle Every time you try and get out the circle Mm -hmm. They just keep They just keep pushing you Back in that motherfucker I told you the other day That's what your problem is It's it's the people that you Surround yourself around No because What I'm saying is Like Every time I Every time I drink I'm trying to get away from everybody But they keep pushing me back in there And so it just keep Aggravating me And aggravating me And aggravating me So I just keep on drinking Until I go to another place Where it don't matter no more Yeah you know, so but see, that's the problem though. Being around people that you don't, that you ain't supposed to be around, and like they laughing at you and they kind of encouraging that behavior. Yeah, no, not really, because the people I be around, they 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 beg me to stop drinking. Like they literally beg me to stop drinking. Yeah, but they can't do shit. I mean, I just I just had this conversation with uh with with Blue the other day. It's it's easy to be like, hey Damo, I think you should stop drinking, nigga. You looking at them like, who the fuck are you? Yeah. You ain't you ain't doing shit no better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you want me to stop drinking and be like you? You know what I'm saying? Versus like when you around somebody that actually cares about what you got going yeah. on and you see them having positive things going on too, you like, oh no, I got to get better. This or nigga, some, this or somebody that's ass. like, y'all, y'all got history, y'all brothers, like, yeah, nigga, we all grew up together, nigga. We known each other since yeah. we were fucking 15 years old, like, nigga. You can't, you can't be around a nigga you known for six like, months and he telling you stop drinking nigga, and you that's like 17 years of friendship, nigga. And you, I don't care you what nobody say. Store coke every day, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's different when a nigga that's like a nigga you just met. And you, yeah, that's your nigga. That's your your brother, your twin, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But like it's really like niggas out here who's like really like nigga. We might as well be brothers or cousins, nigga. Like we've known each other since we was just. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's different when coming from one person than from another person. So Especially when that person <clears throat> like um, when it was. I think I talked about it on, on the last pod. I was telling Big King how I was goddamn going off the shrooms last week. And uh, 
uh, you know how the song plays after the song on YouTube, and that young thug, that first you get the money, then you, you get, get the power. power. Yeah. For some reason, I know Damo playlist when he used to DJ in my head. Like it's like program. <laughs> I know the next song. Mm-hmm. I know. No, we know that's Stinto. That's Stinto. Yeah. I know that's you know the next song. Into? Yeah, you know what I know that's into? the next song. DJ, yeah, yeah. are you done so, mixing yet? <laughs> <laughs> that's the DJ mix. has just begun. <laughs> so, bro, that's yeah, my hope. Yeah, yeah, that that my hope. Hope. yeah, that's, that's my hope. That's the list, bro. So hey. I had told Trey Trey, I said, man, I don't know if these are the shrooms, but I'm getting emotional because, like, <laughs> I miss the old Damo. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The old playlist playing in my head. I miss the old Damo. And I was telling him, I was like, you know what's crazy? Like, they think Damo cool as fuck now. If they would have seen Damo when he was 21, 22? Jug, No, man. that nigga was cool. Back when he was Jug, man? Yeah. Jug, man, was cool, bro. Yeah. But see, bro, this is the thing about drugs and alcohol, bro. They take your personality. Yeah. Just like eventually. Yeah, just Could, like, bro, my homeboy eventually. Junior before he passed away, bro. Yeah. Like I remember talking to him and asking him, like, bro, do you feel like you're the same person? He said, Slim, I haven't been the same person in years, bro. He said, I don't even know how to even be that person. And that shit fucked me up because like I slowly watched it happen. Mm-hmm. Then I got another uh friend that uh battles with that shit and he hates me, so I'm not gonna say his name. But mm-hmm. like he the same way. And both the niggas was in my car one day, and this is actually what made me stop selling drugs, bro. I'm gonna be transparent. Them niggas said slim because I had gave both of them niggas. Uh, I had I had gave one of them niggas some morphine, and the other one I think his choice of drugs was like Xanax or something. And um, I was like, bro, why y'all do drugs so much? Because both of them niggas was the same type of nigga. Like they would wake up in the morning, go to the gas station, play scratch offs, and them niggas used to hit. Mm-hmm. They used to hit for like two hundred on the scratch offs, and call me immediately. I was like, bro, and you know these are my friends' friends. Like I grew up with them. These ain't just mm-hmm. no junkies I'm serving. These is my friends. So I had asked them, I was like, bro, why y'all do so many drugs? And them niggas was like, man, Slim, you probably ain't never been here in life before, but like, it's kind of hard to wake up in the morning, bro. Only thing you got looking forward to is getting high. That shit, yeah, that is. Bro, that shit made me sad, bro. I went home and cried, and I never sold drugs again after that. I was like, bro, that shit, because I can't, and you know, people be like, if they don't get it from you, they gonna get it from somebody else. Well, let it be somebody else. Yeah. Don't let it be me, nigga. I ain't got yeah. time for that shit. Niggas and I don't get, wanna have to live with that. Niggas get way too deep in their bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they I get know, fixated on the hot. I know when I'm getting bad, I know when I'm getting bad because I'll be like, like I'll, for, 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 say for instance, like in a week, I probably drink four days a week yeah. out, of, out of the seven. Um, Heavy drink, two of them. Like Friday, Saturday, I'm getting blitz, nigga. I don't care what nobody Friday, says. Day. Yeah, Friday, Friday, Saturday, I always get fucking blitzed. Don't want to pass me on the beers, man. I feel bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, bro, I never. When, every time I get to the edge of where I'm like, I'll and I always judge it by my bottles, because like it's, if it's just me drinking on a big ass bottle and I look at that bitch and it's like halfway gone the next morning, I wake up, I'll be like, Big King. You gotta chill the fuck out. Nah, bro, bro you gotta be your. That do it to me too. You just gotta. You know keep... what I'm saying? Because I look at that bottle, I be like, I drank that. F-. I be like, Katie, you drank something? She be like, I didn't drink last night. Nah, I be bro, like, what the you fuck? You gotta keep building. You gotta keep building clues. What? <laughs> <laughs> keep building what? Clues. He said every time you feel like you get to the cliff, you thought you gotta just build another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Dumbo, that's why you were eleven on the spectrum, bro. Exactly, bro. Bro, this if this the spectrum, bro, yeah. you were eleven. Every bro. time I get to the point where I'm like, damn, nigga, you just drank a half a bottle in one night, and that's when I'll be like, all right, it's time to dial it back. I'll stop. I won't drink for like five days. I'll work out every but, day. But bro, you know what I like doing though. I like having me a casual drink. Like, like I think night before last, I probably drunk like a couple glasses of whiskey, and I felt mm-hmm. great, bro. Yeah, I was doing some work. I on like my computer. that shit too, but it it be so hard to like just stop right there. Yeah, like it's like it be so hard to just be like, you know, let me chill. And just, I don't f- see my. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what my problem is. What it used to be like one black can. I mean, it'd be goddamn. <laughs> Then took two black cans, and mm-hmm. now I I got to go from two, so, sober yeah. to got down. Uh. Two black cans is crazy. One black can, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like one black can, it really do put you in the zone. Yeah. Two black cans, bro. You're you're trashed, bro. This sounds like an AA meeting right now too. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all some real trash shit I used to do off the uh, off the cans because I couldn't drink the black cans with y'all. Mm. I think I think it's been two times in my life I really was goddamn a ten on the scale. Mm. Night First you, time, that night you was on the couch at Quay House, boy. Yo, Fable, tear it up. I was just drunk, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't on the drink like that. I was just drunk one time. 
But in college, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I was on the scale, bro. I think I think my second year of college, I drunk every day. Every single day. And bro, this is what my problem was too. I ain't feel like having sex unless I was drunk. Yeah, that's when you know you're getting wild. So you know what I would do? What? And, cause, cause, uh, because I was so I was so broke, I just wouldn't eat. Mm-hmm. And I would go to the store and buy two Natty Daddies and just chug both of them bitches and be blitzed. <laughs> I'm talking about blitz, yeah. bruh. Yeah. No food. Like, I, bruh, then it got to the point where, like, two, three days would go by and I'd be like, bro, you ain't been eating shit, bruh. Yeah. Like, you ain't ate nothing but some chicken fingers. Yeah. Like, you gonna die. All, all bag, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All bag of chips or some shit. Yeah, a yeah, bag yeah. of chips or some. And you put another can in your body. And then the second time was when. I first moved to Augusta. We were drinking all that Hennessy, and I gained all that weight, and my dick stopped getting hard. Yeah. yeah that I'm shit was depressing, that. too, bro. My dick ain't get hard for like a month, bro. And I kept like, I was like, man, these bad, bad bitches I'll be fucking, man. <laughs> then I got them little down. I was like, oh, this bitch ain't working. <laughs> that bitch it just ain't, ain't working. It ain't doing what it do. <laughs> yeah, that bitch just ain't working, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't working because I'm fat, yeah. and I be eating hot wings and drinking Hennessy every day, bro. Yeah. And I'm probably a borderline diabetic. <laughs> Cause that Hennessy got so much sugar in it, bro. Yeah. I was like, bro, I'm probably just a borderline diabetic. I'm probably gonna go out, dog. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I I, I used to ain't like fucking it unless I was drunk too. But now, now I ain't gonna lie. The Henny dick used to goddamn go crazy though. The bitches love that shit. Yeah. Now the perk, nigga, but the perk replaced that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> the perk, <laughs> the, perk per, the perky dick replaced that. But um, nah, I don't like I don't like having sex on them perks. So. When my goddamn ham hawk be fucked up and I be popping all them perks, I just go to sleep with that bitch with the tent. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep with the tent, the tent, nigga. But yeah, I went for not want to have sex being until I was drunk. And now I just don't be giving the fuck. You know what? It's so weird trying to talk to females, goddamn. Sober now and drunk. Cause I'll be so fucked up. Like I don't be I don't be knowing what to you say. Just be floating through the combo. Bro, I don't even know what to say. When you sober? Or drunk, cause I I just see that's don't. the thing, bro. That's when like you, it's, you gotta find you gotta find who you is now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I just you, don't I don't know what to say, bro. Like my conversation would be like, okay, why the fuck I got? There was a point. That was there was a point you had you had that you had that riz without even needing a drink, nigga. You had that you had that gift for gab, nigga. We would be sober in college, like going out to like a football game or some shit, and you would just riz up ten bitches. Yeah. You might bag two, but you would riz up ten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yo uh baseball average was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo goddamn but, bro. I would never take your hitter fantasy. But the willingness, the willingness, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't even give a fuck. Yeah. Shit. He put me on when we was in college and uh used to be homecoming. He used to be like, bro, you just gotta holler air, bitch. You see. Yeah. Yeah, I just be like, Namo, I don't have that kind of confidence, bro. <laughs> see yeah. me, I got the kind of confidence that like, you know. I holler at one bitch because she choosing, and then mm-hmm. as soon as she bite, I feel like I'm that nigga. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to try to holler at like three more bitches, but it's, she got to be choosing too. Yeah. It can't be no goddamn, I'm just hollering at everything I yeah. see. Like, my confidence level don't never, like, keep boosting. Yeah. You, Damo, you blind as fuck out that bitch. <laughs> you like, hey, that bitch, gonna holler at I know you bitch. ain't noticed me, <laughs> but... <laughs> You hey, need to give me some pussy. You know how you had your dog by the chain? That bitch, uh, uh, <laughs> that's how you gotta be at that bitch. That bitch, that bitch. <laughs> nah, you ain't gotta be like that, bro. That you ain't gotta be like be. that. Yeah. Bro, you always had confidence like that to holler at girls. I still do. Nigga, since I know that shit just born. Like that that shit just born now, bro. Cause it's just like every female the same, bro. I ain't been outside in a minute too, Damo. Goddamn, what it's like out here with these bitches, man? They trash or what? Man, it's some real pretty, pretty females outside. I, I yeah. got to get it to you. Like, it's some real pretty, pretty females. I'm talking about from the club staff to the females that be in the club. Actually, I'm proud. But do they be, but do they be about some shit? Yeah, some of them. Hell yeah. no, I'm not letting you him cannot, get away with that. No, shit. no, 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 no. Hell you cannot, no. You cannot. You cannot put all of them in the category, bro. Yes, I can. You can't. How can you, bro? You go to the club, bro. You ain't getting shit out of there. Why yes, you, say you that? will. Yes, you Cause ain't shit in there. Yes, like you saying like there's just not a girl that's worth. man. Them bitches be trash, bro. Man, I cannot. Bro, agree I with said that. this the other day, bro, bro, and we was just talking about drinking. It's different when we drink, cause nigga, we just, bro, we got disgusting bloodlines. All three of us. Oh yeah, we got gross ass bloodlines. Yeah, we battling some crazy shit. I come from a long line of trash ass niggas. Yeah, nigga, these I beat girls, the odds. these girls be mixed, nigga. 
They yeah. fucking mamas be white. They daddies mm-hmm. be black. Mm-hmm. Goddamn. They might have ac- uh, alcoholism on their daddy's side. They might have meth addicts on their mama side. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that shit just comes together and form this amazing powder puff girl. <laughs> <laughs> and, now, and now this bitch in the club chugging tequila. Twerking. Five days in a row. Yeah. Twerk wind smelling like goddamn ass and crab legs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that's not a girl you want to fuck with, bro. Bro, when girls get drunk like that, bro, it's like, what the fuck are you running from? And when a girl go to the club like that all the time, it's like, what are that's, you looking for? That's a red flag. Who are you looking for? Because to be honest, bro, like, we're not just going to make this about women. The same type of niggas go to the club every night, too. Lame ass. Like, the niggas that do got money that be in the club. He a lame ass, flexing ass, bitch ass nigga. Like who yeah. the fuck wanna be with that nigga? I told you know I told I was talking to Katie about this the other day, but like, you know how men, we ain't got like a long checklist for our bitches. Like Correct. Nigga, just be pretty, cook and clean, be nice to me, support me. That's about it. You know, bitches, you gotta be he can't have kids. He can't he gotta be six five. He gotta have a big ass dick. He gotta be light skinned, green eyes, and he gotta have pretty hair. The the list is fucking crazy. Whatever yeah. the fuck. And I was like, bro, nowadays it's so many bitches out here and it's only it's not very many like solid niggas. Like so bitches be out here. Oh yeah, just, I agree. You know what I'm saying? So it because we I ain't gonna lie, men are falling off in this generation. We falling off I agree. motherfucker. hundred like, percent. And it just I, I be telling my girl and she knows she admitted to me, she's like, Yeah, I know if I like if we broke up, like it would be very hard for me to find. But you know, we've been telling her that for years though. Like, she just she just now is because she you know she, but you know what make women realize that and it's sad. What women women kind of live through their kids, so when they finally like get to the realization that, hey, I have this kid for mm-hmm. at least like twelve more years, yeah, and I have this I have two now, and mm-hmm. I have my other kid for at least seventeen years, yeah. So now it's like, what man is gonna take me? That's when you find look in the mirror, and then, bro, what it really be, bro? And the the two percent of women that listen to this pod, please don't get offended. But it's different when we gain weight, we don't give a fuck. We like whatever, nigga. I got titties. Who cares? No. When women go through, uh, what's it called, postpartum? Or we mean uh, menopause? Did I, uh, nah, menopause? Nah, after they have the baby, what's it oh, called? Oh yeah, that's Post- postpartum. That's okay, postpartum. yeah, bro. When they go through that, bro. That shit fucks their world up. They look yeah. in the mirror, they be 15 pounds bigger, but mm-hmm. they feel 50 pounds bigger. Mm-hmm. And that shit fucks their whole world up, bro. Yeah. And that shit start making them think a little bit more logical. Like, mm-hmm. um, the only time I feel like it's right, because most women still be beautiful when they gain the 15 pounds, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. I but, love a fucking grown woman weight. Yeah, me too. I but I think, I think that's a good period for the woman that thinks she's going to make money off her body for the rest of her life. She needs to go through that. Uh, they got too many surgeries out here for her to do it, for go through it for the rest of her life. She can just go to, go go to the doctor and, and get a new body, bro. Ain't DC Young Fly bitch just kick the bucket because of that yeah. shit? Yeah, that shit sad. That shit super sad. That bitch want to be bad so bad that she got them off herself. That's crazy. I ain't gonna say she offed herself, but uh, she uh, I ain't gonna lie, Slim. What would you kick the bucket for the Dominican dick lift? What, to get a bigger dick? Yeah, to come out with the 13, motherfucker. Hey, man, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all niggas. I'm talking about the... If this is a safe space, man, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all niggas. What? I don't have a big dick, bro. <laughs> but I've had the same size dick since I was in fifth grade. <laughs> and when I, was, <laughs> when I was in fifth grade, I used to pull that bitch out all the time. Like, bitch, yeah. I got a big ass dick. <laughs> and bitches used to be like, damn, your dick big as hell. So I've already had my big dick moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I got a regular size dick. You know what I'm saying? Because that bitch, for some reason, that bitch just stayed the same size. Yeah. I don't know why. It just stayed the same size. Yeah. So, nigga, I've had my experience. And, um, see, man, I'm cool with having the average dick, bro. Now, you would have to ask me that question if I had a little dick. And I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. If I had a little dick, I don't know, bro, because I got a homeboy that got a little dick, and he's doing pretty good in life. So I probably still would. What care. about what if what if they could give you the Michael B body? Like they say, hey, you come in, I will give you. I ain't surgery. Doing oh that. no, bro! I just go to the gym. That's a that's bro, I'm a weird not thing. scared of hard work. That's bro. the that's the thing about niggas though is like we'll do that type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying, bro? Having a Michael B uh, Jordan body isn't like out of reach for me. 
Yeah, it's not. <laughs> like, it's not it's something not. that's unattainable. See, so, like, you asking somebody where, like, that goal isn't unattainable, mm-hmm. you would have to ask a woman that's, like, really built bad. And, mm-hmm. like, she knows that, like, that Jennifer Lopez body is unattainable for her, so she's willing to go to extreme lengths. Yeah. Nigga, I'm not willing to go to extreme lengths because all I got to do is start back eating grass yeah. and, 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 and fucking uh, steak every day. Yeah. And goddamn working out, running my fucking three, four miles, and mm-hmm. going in the gym, hitting the weights hard, and I'm going to have a Michael B. motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to have a Michael B. motherfucker by Christmas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So it's not unattainable. But I don't know the mindset of a woman that goddamn wakes up every day and hates her body. Yeah. I got titties now, and I hate it, but like I don't want to kill myself about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not tweaking about it. I think it's just it. crazy that old girl died. She left her kids behind. And I ain't know, like... It's like one in a a thousand chance of like dying from that. Yeah, shit. your girl told us that the other day, and that yeah. shit fucked me up, bro. Yeah. Nigga, I think she said it was like one in every like two hundred thousand. I was like, bro, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, dog. Yeah. Because you know, like they have statistics for like every odd it is of ways you can die, and mm-hmm. like you walking outside right now and getting hit by a bus is like one in a billion. Mm-hmm. Are you goddamn catching cancer is like one in a million? Mm-hmm. Are you uh, dying of lung hold, cancer? Hold on, my nigga, my nigga Blue said he almost got struck by lightning the other day. Bro. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing he said, said last said, night, and bro. And he said that shit was this close to him. <laughs> He said Thor was got there about to strike his ass. He got, he, he got sacked, got there on that shit. Next to hey, I ass. told I told that nigga, I told that nigga Zeus got there seen that nigga eating all that bullshit. He said, get your ass the fuck out of here. He tried to throw the light up on that blue ass. <laughs> Big blue in that bitch. <laughs> blue head ass, but yeah, man. I just had, I, when I was on my mind, I had to tell you because that shit was a funny moment. Yes. That nigga blue, man, blue lightning strike his ass. He's just gonna turn into goddamn rubber. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, hey, I, man, I told, I told, I told, bro, I told my homeboy girlfriend, I said when the apocalypse happened, bro, and we gotta start eating people. Blue that first. nigga blue you is know number blue one on the list, nigga. nigga. Bruh, and I got dibs on his legs. Because <laughs> have you seen them motherfuckers? That's the only part of his body where you ain't got to cut that much fat off. Yeah. That Fuck bitch got some leg. legs, boy. I'm telling you, bro. I'm putting that bitch on a rotisserie. <laughs> cut that ugly ass foot off because that foot ugly hell. Cut that bitch off. Bruh, we got to cut bruh. the hands and the feet off. <laughs> yeah. Because the them shit's black, the bro. They got black shit around <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Blue, I'm not driving on you, but it was funny when you said uh, Thor had, I mean, I mean, Zeus almost got down and cranked your ass. Up, <laughs> Out of all the shit you could have came over here and said, bro, I was like, damn. Bro. Yeah, he did come in this bitch last night, and that's the first thing he said. And I was just sitting there like, and bro, bro, Big King, please tell me you watched his most recent video when he had a t- uh, ten four hat. I still ain't got a chance, bro. To watch you don't it. never watch none of his shit, bro. Bro, I, this, this no, nigga Blue, had a ten four. I do be watching hat. your shit, Blue. I do be watching your shit. Cap. I Bruh, do. This nigga had the tinfoil. I ain't watched that bullshit neither. Bruh, he had the tinfoil hat on. <laughs> bruh, you just had to see it. I watched it on mute. You just yeah. had to see it, bruh. Yeah. Like, I watched, like, the words the first, like, minute until he started get going on the deep end. Yeah. Like, see, what you people have to understand is, I said, oh, yeah, mute. <laughs> <laughs> Late night with blue. Late night with motherfucking blue. Bruh, let's get into the law order, though, because we ain't got that much time, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um... Like I said earlier, we got a criminal justice major in the building. Yep. My nigga Dominique. Um what's your what's your feel? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's your feel? Because you're the professional in the building. What's your feel, bro? Man, they offered me the um Melly case, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they, they offered me the Melly case, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the black can, so they ain't give it to you. They ain't give it to me. <laughs> All right, man. So uh with you saying that, you wanna start with the Melly? Is that what we're going to start? We're going to start at the Millie trial? We can do Millie because I'm I'm interested. All right. So today will be day five of the Millie trial. Um, I didn't. I don't even know if they uh, was in court today, but it's supposed to be at least a month. And uh, Millie actually scored a big win yesterday. What happened? They had his ex-girlfriend's mother on the stand, and they had her Instagram messages um where she was supposed to testify, basically mm-hmm. saying that Melly tried to pay her off to not testify. And she went on stand and said that that wasn't true. And that's and she don't even remember those messages. She don't know where her phone number was back then. She don't know what her daughter's phone number was. None of that shit. And the judge basically uh, told 
told the prosecution that they basically have to let that shit go. And if she don't answer the question, you just have to move forward. And they kept pressing her on that. And the defense asked for a mistrial. So the judge is supposed to come back and decide whether it's going to be a mistrial or not. Which, most likely, he's not going to grant them the mistrial off that. Mm -hmm. But it's still a big win because that's going to help his case. If he's found guilty, that's going to help his case for the whatchamacallism. For the death penalty? No, no, no. For the uh, the retrial. For uh, the appeal. Excuse me, the appeal. Man, um, that shit, I ain't going to lie. I feel bad for that nigga, but... I don't know, bro. That nigga. Going. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro, because it's a lot of hood lawyers online that don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> the hood lawyers. <laughs> yeah, the hood lawyers. Hey, the hood lawyers. That's a thing, bro. It's a lot of hood ass niggas online. Yeah. Like, boy, they about to double fry and stuff that nigga. <laughs> and I'm like, nigga, are you not watching this shit? Like, Damo, you've been watching this shit with me the last two days. You know, I've been watching this shit all week. Right. But yeah. nigga, what you've seen these last two days, that shit been boring as hell. But you see, I still been sitting there watching that shit. Really skating. Nigga, that nigga skating like a bitch, nigga. Y'all think so? Nigga, you know, they ain't got shit. shit. The, the prosecution Bruh, kept going. No, shit. no. That's the only reason why I I think that he might get off, but you always gotta leave it. It's the it's a jury trial, right? Correct. Yeah, it's so a jury trial. The thing you is, have to it's other it's other outlines. Yeah, that but if there's no they don't got no weapon, they ain't got nothing. They really ain't got shit. Oh, Big King, I'm glad you said that. Can I please tell you they had they had uh because you know they started the trial out all the witnesses they had was uh was a uh, specialist, like forensic specialist, weapon specialist, ballistic. you know, ballistic specialist, uh, medical specialist, the mm-hmm. officers that was on the scene, the security officer that was at the hospital, all those people. Well, yeah. the weapon specialist that they had, the prosecution went first and yeah. questioned him, and he gave all these examples about how the bullet trajectory is and how a weapon works and all these type of things. You know, he was really into it. Me and Damo was sitting there like, this shit boring as fuck, da 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 Mm-hmm. Bro, the defense walked up there when it, when it was their turn to cross examine them. They walked up there and they said, "All this information you have given doesn't mean anything if you don't have the weapon." Yeah, that's real and shit though. He stood in front of the mic and he said, "Because I don't have the weapon, I have no idea what kind of gun it is or anything. All we have is the caliber rounds, and that's it." And they was like, so basically everything you're saying is just information. And he was like, correct. And Melly threw his hands up like, he shouldn't have did that shit. But he threw his hands up like, nigga, duh. And I ain't gonna lie, after I heard that shit, I was like, yeah, bro. Like, all the evidence y'all are presenting to us is circumstantial. Yeah. It's nothing like, it's nothing there. There's, it's not, you don't tan- have it's not shit. tangible. It's not tangible. It's until you have a weapon. Mm-hmm. They're like you have nothing really, bro. Like, then another key thing when they had the uh, the uh, forensic specialist, no, mm-hmm. the ballistics uh, specialist, mm-hmm. and he was explaining how ballistics works, right? Yeah, and you know it was something. It was it was one key point I didn't know how ballistics works. There has to be an entry point, there has to be a middle point, and there has to be an end point. Mm-hmm. And basically, since the glass was shattered and was gone. There's no entry point. It's only a middle and an end. Right. Mm-hmm. And and there's in most of the uh, most of the shots, there's no end either, mm-hmm. because it because it went in glass, out glass. Mm-hmm. Only parts where there's where there's all three is if it hit door, person, door. But there has to be all three. So mm-hmm. basically, most of those ballistics that they have doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't mean shit. And then also you throw into the factor of how tall he is mm-hmm. and how short his arms is. And you know things like that that also factors into it, and that that plays a big part also. Mm-hmm. Another part I didn't know is about but, your wrist stiff sideways. Yeah, or the, the, the it, loose throws, wrist. it throws off the trajectory. Yeah, I ain't, I I mean you know that, but you don't yeah. know it. You yeah, know, so yeah. it's something to take account in court. You know, the weird thing though is, let's just say you're part of you're a juror, you're part of the the jury. Mm-hmm. What what would be your thoughts approaching this? Like, because the thing is, is you know. Nine times out of ten is, I mean, I don't know how they do juries nowadays, but a lot of the times, juries be biased as fuck. It'd be weird. Okay, so can I tell you a, another piece of information that, that that a lot of people don't know is this is a death trial. Mm-hmm. So for this to be a death trial, you have to be someone that approves of the death penalty. Mm-hmm. So therefore, every single person that's on that juror stand approves of death is a conservative. 
Fuck. Yeah, he might be fucked. I don't know, though. He but might be fucked, bro. Another thing, it has to be somebody that approves of the death penalty, somebody that has never heard of him at all, because also they decided, the prosecution decided not to use his music in court. They decided they had enough evidence where they didn't have to use it because it was a big battle between using murder on my mind or not in court. Mm-hmm. And they decided they didn't have to do that shit, so they didn't even want to waste time trying to uh, use that song in court. So nobody on that jury stand has ever heard murder on my mind. Um, they believe in the death penalty. So not L oh, and they're they're only getting paid like six hundred dollars a month for this, and this is supposed to go on for a couple months. Mm-hmm. So everybody there has to be able to afford a living off of six hundred dollars a month. And who is that? That's old people that's retired. So Melly is going against old retired white people. Yeah, that's a bad jury to have. It's a bad jury to have, but I'm gonna be honest with you. But they also have to be unbiased, right? So, I'm going to be honest with you. As of right now, the evidence that has been presented, bro, if I was on that jury stand and they, they just asked me just strictly off the evidence, not off the person, not not off a nigga named Demons mm-hmm. with, with face tattoos and goddamn uh, teeth, because they keep asking this nigga about his teeth. I don't know why. Like, everybody in the comment section, they keep talking about his teeth. Why? What? Because he got diamond teeth. And they're like, oh, why is he allowed to wear those diamond teeth in court? Nigga, because they're fucking permanent. That's yeah. his teeth. Yeah. You can't just take them bitches out. But, uh, bro, based off the evidence right now, bro, I don't see why, no matter how, even if you're a racist uh, old white person on that on that juror, I don't see how you would find him guilty because it's just not enough evidence. And, like, that's what it does. I'm thinking, this, I'm thinking the same way you do. Mm-hmm. And even more so, I would say I'm more conservative, conservative leaning as a me personally. I'm not, I'm kind of in the middle mostly, mm-hmm. but more conservative leaning. But me, based off of like just what they presented, bro, I would, I could never convict somebody, especially not deaf. Because you know, that, they're, that's somebody, they're not yeah. going to get that eight out of 12 yeah. for the deaf. They're not yeah. going to get that. I, I know that for sure. Get, I don't think he'll get deaf. Nah, they're not going to get deaf. But you now. think, you think he's going to get convicted though? I really don't know, bro, but I don't think he's going to get convicted. As of right now. Just as of right now where we're at. I don't think he should because of what they've presented. Mm-hmm. But I just, I, I got a weird feeling about this, man. Florida's just a weird place. And so the craziest thing, Florida is a weird place. And mm-hmm. the craziest thing to me, if I'm on the jury stand, right, the mm-hmm. craziest thing to me is when the prosecution says, and I don't even know why they brung this up because it's stupid. And it like, bro, most of the things that they presented is irrelevant. And it kind of helps his case. Like, yeah. they presented the fact that, you know, all their locations is pinged at the same place because Melly and Juvie are on the same phone plan. They both have Sprint. They're on the mm-hmm. same exact phone plan. Yeah. I, if I'm in the juror, I'm like, bro, I ain't going to lie. I can't see a nigga killing a nigga on the same phone plan as him. I just, I just can't see it, bro. But they're they're laymans. They're these are people that just you know what I'm saying? They don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got the, you. the thing is, court is theater. It's theater. If you can convince that's why that nigga Johnny Cochran was that nigga, that nigga undefeated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's theater. It's really just convincing these fucking folks what's real and what's not. It's manipulation. You know what I'm saying? Well the prosecution's dropping the ball. In like that, that in that aspect. Oh yeah, like, because yeah. every evidence they have, every person they're bringing on, they're doing a horrible job. And um, I told you the the ex girlfriend's mother, they did a horrible job. Mm-hmm. They kept making so many her. statements instead of asking. The her judge questions. told them they was like, bro, because you know they had to have the conversation with the witness before the jurors come in, mm-hmm. and and the judge basically was like, hey, you can't bring up anything involving those Instagram texts now because she just denied it, so mm-hmm. you can't bring it up. The lady kept bringing it up, bro. The prosecutor, yeah. she kept bringing it up after they already had told her, like, bro, you can't bring up anything involving this now. It's a wrap. Mm-hmm. She brought it up like thirty times, bro, and that's why they, you know, call for the mistrial. Judge probably not going to grant it though. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. My um, my standpoint on this case is the same. If he did that shit, double frying stuff that nigga. Mm-hmm. If he didn't do that shit, and just me watching the. The case, I don't think he did it, bro. Just me watching the case, but you know, it's still a lot more to go. Free that I nigga if he didn't say, do it. I wouldn't even say double frying stuff that nigga. You never know what them niggas was doing to him to make him do if he did it, like mm-hmm. to make him do some shit like that. 
Nah, you, nah, you don't kill your best friends, bro. Hey, I ain't no telling what the fuck them niggas was trying to do. Bro, I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas do to me. I'm not killing y'all niggas. What about the other nigga? Uh... Y'all niggas can cuss my mama out. I'm not killing you. I'm just never talking to you again. What about the other nigga that they, get, they gave life to? Who? Uh, the other nigga. His coat. His coat defendant. Oh, his coat defendant? Yeah. Uh, YWN Bortland? Yeah, Bortland. There That's you know. his name? Yeah. Bortland? Yeah. Bortland got convicted? Nah, he didn't get convicted he not, yet. He ain't got oh. convicted yet, but they, but, they, they, but they, they, um, they didn't give him the death oh. penalty. He's not on trial for the death penalty. He's only trial for life. And so the, they trying to trial this nigga? Yeah. He is. He goes to court next. And so his wow. case, his case, the only reason why his case is, is looks a little crazier than Melly's, and I and I also found out why Melly has the death penalty and he doesn't, is because they're saying Melly was the shooter. They're saying that the bullet trajectory of where Melly was sitting and where Bro was sitting. Is coming from Melly's side because how they were sitting in the car, Bortland was driving, Melly was sitting behind him. Uh, I think Juvie was sitting in the uh passenger side, and Sack Chaser was sitting in the uh, in the, front, right? in the uh, pa- passenger rear, yeah, rear, yeah. So, and, and they're saying the bullet trajectory was coming from Melly's side. Now, the reason why they charged Bortland is because Bortland is on camera running into the hospital telling them. Woody Woody Whoop, and he was there by himself with the bodies. And they're also saying that both of them drove around with the bodies for 45 minutes, and Melly made calls. He made a call to his ex-girlfriend, and he made a text and sent his location ping to Fredo, Fredo Bangs. Bangs. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Yeah, that's that I saw that too, which yeah. is weird as fuck. Why the fuck is Fredo even involved? That's so weird. And then all he takes Fredo Bang back was, I did that shit. That is crazy. That is crazy, though. That's a crazy piece of information. Yeah. But I did that shit can mean anything. Could be a verse. Anything. Bro, everything everything that presented is circumstantial. And that's exactly what the defense said. They said that shit could be I finished the verse. But if I... That shit could be anything. Thing. Here's the thing. If I'm an old white man, you did that shit. <laughs> They don't know, I, you know. I, what I'm see your stance. Like, I don't yeah. know, bro. Yeah, like bro, if I'm it was old white man. It was old white people in the OJ case, and they let that nigga off. Well, yeah, but they love OJ, nigga. He was like America's but dark, it, but it also back it then. also was a lot of black women in that in, in that jury too. Mm-hmm. OJ actually had a really good uh, jury selection, mm-hmm. really good. Melly Melly is kind of I don't know, but we're also going to know who was who who was in the jury. Pit uh, at the end because them folks can't wait to talk and do interviews and do all that bullshit. You know how jury is because in our country, I don't know if a lot of people know. In our country, the jurors are are are, are protected under under the uh, amendments. So basically, you don't have to expose who you are. You don't have to talk about a case to anybody if you don't want to. But that goes both ways. If you want to, you can talk to whoever the fuck you want to. You can talk to the defendant. You can talk to the prosecutor. You can talk to defense lawyers. You can talk to the media. You can talk to whoever the fuck you want to any after the case. Extra protection after they leave, like far as no, you know, so they can get that. They're just they normal get, citizens. Damn, bro. Me and you can be on that jury trial. No, what I'm saying is they can get their ass knocked off and nothing happen. It's it's cool. That has happened before. Damn, that's wild. Actually, that happened. One of the jurors died. Uh, the Night Stalker in California. Mm. In the middle of his case, one of the jurors died. And they was trying to say the Night Stalker did it. In his own case? <laughs> yeah, while he was in prison. They were trying to say he did that shit. Excuse me, jail. I was about to say, that shit head ass. That shit, shit wild. super head ass. I really yeah. don't know, bro. I just really don't know, bro. I just really don't know. Yeah. It's, I be it's trying to think. Case. The only thing I ever think about is like, what would make a nigga want to do that type shit? And that's the thing about this case. There's no weapon and there's no motive. Yeah. They keep presenting false ass motives. And the dad, they interviewed the dad on on uh on the Law and Crime Network. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, Sack Chaser beat that nigga up and knocked his golds out a couple days before. Nigga, Melly has had platinum teeth for like two years yeah. before that happened. What golds? That nigga ain't have no golds Melly five days been- before that. That's yeah. false. And they also was like, uh, it's this big thing about him wearing turtlenecks. They're saying the defense wants him to cover up the tattoos of the mother's names, right? Mm-hmm. So, which could be true. I don't know. That could be true. But I'm going to tell y'all why I don't think that's what true. What mother's names? They're saying that he has Juvie and Sack Chaser's mother's names tatted on his neck. And they want him to cover it up. That's why 
they have he has turtlenecks. He been wearing turtlenecks. Yeah, but listen though, this is why I think that shit is false and that's not true and that's just some weird ass urban myth in this trial. Nigga, on his hairline, if you look on his right hairline, mm-hmm. that shit says sack chaser. Mm-hmm. If you look on his uh, on the side, yeah. it says written down going down his tape. It says juvie. Yeah. Nigga, he got the niggas' names tatted on his face. Why would he cover up the mama's names on his neck? That don't make sense to me. But that's just some weird ass shit they got going on. I don't know. That's a weird. That's a weird ass case. That case is crazy, bro. Yeah, that's a weird ass case. And I knew it was gonna be crazy before he even jumped off. I knew yeah. it was gonna be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga was hot like fish grease too when he when he was, you know, on his shit. That, Uncertain, bro. Yeah. But hold on, I gotta I gotta play the song, bro. What's up? Hold up. I gotta play the song. We gotta talk about another case. My nigga Boosie. My nigga Boosie. Wait, Boosie in trouble? Yeah, bro. Boosie went to the court case to support Melly because he said rappers be needing support in times like this. Mm-hmm. That bitch went to go support, bro. That nigga walked out of the courthouse. They locked his goofy ass up. For what? The feds came and got him. Don't, don't nobody know yet. Don't nobody know yet. Feds came and got him. But Boosie got locked up a couple days ago in California with another weapons possession. But the feds came and got him okay. from the court case. It wasn't his security or nothing? It was him? It was him. He's locked up right now. Damn. I swear to God, bro. I just seen Boosie last Sunday at Spielberg Studio with Absolute them down there recording some music, bro. I swear to God, bro. Yeah, that is. That shit crazy. Oh, yeah, he bro. was he, he was in Augusta. Yeah, he was down there at Spielberg. Then he went to uh, Yellow Tape right down the road on, I think, that's that big-ass building in the middle of uh, Broad Street by the strip club. That Yellow nigga Tape. Boosie should have mind his motherfucking business. <laughs> I shit ain't funny, bro. Pretty he should have mind his business. The daddy said some real shit. The, 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 the goddamn daddy said, shit, you over here talking about you supporting Melly. Go support that nigga you got them that's locked up for you, got them sending all them hits right now. He's like, that nigga fighting for his motherfucking life in Baton Rouge, nigga. Go yeah. support that nigga. Why he 15 when he got locked up? The nigga that, Yeah. Uh, they, they trying that nigga as an adult, nigga trying to get that nigga to need him. Mm-hmm. Damn. That's why. He fighting for his fucking life, bro. They calling that nigga a goddamn hitman, bro. Boosie ain't said shit about that shit. Boosie got off on all charges involving that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's shit another wild. case. Shit wild, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can never be involved in some street shit, bro. <laughs> it's just not me, bro. <laughs> Niggas just gotta stay in their lanes, ain't it? Because the thing is, it's like, don't get me wrong. Like, I could be a street nigga if I wanted to, but like... Could you? I could. I couldn't. I got, I got a little bit of like killer instinct in me like i got like a little bit of ruthlessness in me but then once i start realizing tell me, Domo asked me this yesterday tell what? me what you think a street nigga is Domo asked what me I this think? shit yesterday yeah like a real street nigga yeah what's a street nigga a street nigga is somebody who who, who came from the bottom um See, our just, definitions is different already go ahead yeah he came from the bottom um had to work his way by any means necessary, whether that means criminal activity, whether that means business, it don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? But he came from an environment urban. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, typical shit like that. Like he came from the bottom. He came from a, a impoverished area. He came from the hood. Um, and he's just trying to make it any by any means necessary. Whether it's illegal, whether it's legal, whatever. I, that's what I I view a street nigga as like. Niggas just getting it out the mud. That's what I view street niggas as. I don't view like, and honestly, you could be a, you could like what, and, and the thing is, it's such an ambiguous term because it's like a nigga could be from fucking the Bronx and be goddamn went to school at Harvard or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's technically I don't know if he is he's a street nigga. What did I tell you last night? What I said that is I'm on. Uh, I forgot what you said that was to be honest. The hood nigga. Oh yeah, hood nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hood nigga. Okay, yeah, a hood yeah. nigga, a hood nigga. Okay, so it's two different you got two different terms. Hood I got niggas, two different terms. Street niggas, hood niggas and street niggas. Kendrick <clears throat> excuse me. Kendrick Lamar is a hood nigga. Yeah. He a nigga that's from the hood who probably ain't never really been involved in those street activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. he was protected and mm-hmm. like people didn't want him really involved in that type of shit. Aaron Aaron Afalo. Yeah. Hood nigga. Yeah. He was protected. Niggas ain't want him in that. The game, street nigga. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So basically, this is this is what I told Domo Street nigga is last night to me, and it's just my definition. There's no right or wrong answer to this. That's why yeah. the reason why I asked you that. It's a very vague term. Yeah, it's just it's just somebody that's involved in street activities, mm-hmm. and most of the time, them niggas is broke as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just going to be completely honest with you. And the only reason why I said our terms is different, Big King, is because what a lot of people don't know, too, is it could be a nigga that's from the suburbs, been in the suburbs all his life. As soon as he step out there and step off that porch and get involved in them streets, he is a street nigga now. Yeah. You can keep dissing him for how he went to a fucking private school and how mm-hmm. he got you robbed that nigga when he was in middle school like them old block niggas was doing duck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can do that all you want. That nigga's a street nigga now. Yeah. You can't do nothing about it. He is a street nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why you right, Big King. Like, you know, that's just like, I love this show, Mayans. Anybody out there that's looking for something to watch, watch Mayans. It's a spinoff to Sons of Anarchy, but it's about the Mexican biker game. I swear you're the it's only nigga that watched that shit. I, I know. <laughs> Niggas need to watch it. Bro, that thing, shit is I don't so even hear about fucking this shit. good, bro. For real? It is so good, dog. Yeah. But uh, especially this last episode, bro. Bro, I'm going to just tell you this last episode. So they going to war with the Sons of Anarchy, right? Oh, like the actual? Yeah, the Sons. It's oh, a okay. spinoff. It's the Mayans. Yeah, but, I know, but I ain't know like yeah. it was going to be like. Sons they going to war with the crazy. Sons. Yeah. So you know that uh, black biker gang on Sons of Anarchy? It was, a, it was the bald head guy? Yeah. Okay, well, it's a different guy on this one because I think it's later times. and But it's the same gang. He gets them to meet into a warehouse and have a conversation, mm-hmm. right? And um, they get there. It's supposed to be a peaceful conversation. Buddy, who's the president of the Sons of Anarchy, is just a fucking nut. He's crazy as fuck. And that nigga was like, bro, the black guy was like, hey, man, y'all promised uh, this was going to be peaceful, no violence. And the white guy from Sons of Anarchy was like, well, I break my promise. What about you, Perez? Yeah. And that nigga was like, whatever. And that nigga was like, I don't want to leave here till somebody dies. He was like, your best against my best to the death. Let's get it. And he points at his big old swole ass white boy <laughs> and cause, cause this small Mexican was like what's up nigga I'll yeah. fight you and he was like oh you think I'm fighting you're stupid he pointed to the swole ass Mexican <laughs> and it was like this who fighting and, and, and the little ass Mexican was like that's what I thought and he went behind everybody yeah. like so the press that nigga was like he because everybody was questioning why they was at war he mm-hmm. looked at all of them and said y'all want me to bleed for y'all I'm about to bleed for y'all that nigga took his vest off and squared up with his big swole ass nigga, bro. You talking nigga, about the Mexican? Yes. That nigga beat the shit out his ass, nigga. The big white boy? The big white boy beat the goddamn Mayan president to a bloody pulp, nigga. <laughs> and out of nowhere, <laughs> that nigga got on top of him and went to go smash his face. And that nigga grabbed that nigga, flipped that nigga over, and pounded this nigga face into the ground, bro. For real? And cracked his skull open. Yes, bro. He died? The big swole goddamn Sons of Anarchy, nigga. Not the president. The president won. Oh, the president won. So the president beat this shit out of Swole, nigga. At the end. Oh. After the nigga got on his ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then then he came and his girl was holding him up into the clubhouse. Because he got the shit beat out of him. (laughs) He came to that bitch and said, you know, everybody was like, that's a fucking Mayan. And they started beating on the goddamn tables. Yeah. And then he was like, yeah. And then, you know, he told them the shit he wanted them to do. Because, you know, um, I'll tell you this story because this is on episode one. Mm. He's actually a rat. He's a, he, he's a plant. The feds planted him the to press? go into this gang. Yes. Wow. The feds pa- planted him to go into this gang, infiltrate the gang, give them back information. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows it, though. Now he's just, he ended up offing. But that's how you know you're in too deep, boy. Yeah. Into, but that's basically into, what I'm into, telling into. y'all. Like, this nigga's still a street nigga. He a rat, but he a street nigga. That's yeah, what niggas yeah, yeah. don't understand, too, about the shit. Yeah. Speaking of that, hold on, let me play the song one more time. <laughs> <laughs> you know I got to play the song. I gotta play the song, bro. What? Hold up. Hold up. Alright, let the song play. Alright. Gonna drop today. Album? Yeah. Wow. Okay. You dropped at midnight. Did you listen to it yet, Domo? Because you supposed to be my gunner, nigga. Nah, I ain't listen to it. Damn, nigga, you talked about that shit all yesterday and you ain't listen to it. Nah, I listen to it. 
Bro, you supposed to be the criminal justice major. You ain't say shit about none of the cases. <laughs> now we on gun. You supposed to be the rat specialist. <laughs> <laughs> the Rattillion. You supposed to be the Rattillion. I, I ain't even really been on Twitter today to see what they said about it. I've been saying, man, them niggas been there. saying that shit slapping, nigga. Is it? <laughs> yeah, they said Holy that shit, shit going crazy. That nigga, nigga got out that got Everybody himself. got them online talking about that shit going crazy, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I don't harbor no resentment towards Gunner. Me neither. Bro, a lot of niggas now, is posting their shit. Now, 6ix9ine, I officially like, I don't like 6ix9ine. Why? Like, What's the difference? Cause what six nine did versus what Gunna did is just different. Like I feel I like heard niggas say that this nigga. I feel like an alpha plea is like, but but the, I feel like they played him, bro. They played. Him. They did. They did. They did. They played him. And the thing is, like he he want to do that shit, but he's like, bro, I'm an artist, bro. Like I'm a rapper. Like I'm not involved in this shit, but I'm kind of involved in this shit. But like he was just doing whatever he had to do to get out and got them feed his family and got them, you know, be back be back out. But like. Now he getting labeled as like I don't know, bro. Like, cause I seen I seen Dirk talking about the shit. Like the nigga told blah 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 blah. But it's like I don't I, I really don't feel like that's fair to him, bro. I don't feel like that's fair. Yeah, to I him. seen a nigga break it down between uh, Gunner and Six Nine. They said Six Nine was out here getting the fights, got down trolling niggas, starring yeah. all this shit. Gunner ain't do none of that shit. So yeah. that's why nigga kind of it's two different. Feel bad with Gunner. Yeah, because Six Nine going to rap when he caused a lot of this shit. It's to different. It's it's way different shit, bro. Like. Gonna, I, I, I real, I honestly feel bad for him because his his rap career is fucked up over this shit now, and um, hopefully he bounces back from this shit. Hopefully people don't care or think about it or, you know, what I'm saying eventually because I feel like at the end of the day I don't feel like he did necessarily anything wrong, but he did. I mean, he knew what he was doing. He got involved with some people that he probably shouldn't have got involved with. But I mean, nigga, what you gonna do? Like you trying to have a career in rap, bro. Like, it's always gonna be some street shit going on. And I feel like at the end of the day, six nine, that was a whole nother case. Like that nigga was just He was out of control. Bro. Yeah, he was an industry plant. That nigga got down. Yeah. yeah, he was just a fucking troll. That's all. Bro, they trying to say everybody on this case is a fucking rat too. I'm like, bro. I think I think um, you know how terms change every day, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, I seen a video recently That Big King showed me And it was this old racist ass guy And they were like Do you consider yourself a racist And the old guy was like uh, You know the term changes every day I don't know God damn <laughs> That's a fucked up shit to say Oh you think that was fucked up You gotta see this video You know what video I'm talking about <laughs> Yeah Bro this nigga said some crazy yeah. shit This nigga was like uh, The black guy who's interviewing him Asked him Was he, he like said, a Ku Klux Klan member Or something like part of the KKK Or something like that Uh uh-huh. I he think he is He's not He oh, think yeah. he is oh. But goddamn, He from an old Ranky dink ass town where, where nobody lives mm-hmm. So goddamn, He really don't bother nobody <laughs> and Races like that I don't give a fuck about You know yeah. what I'm saying It be the niggas That be presidents And shit was I it, care about Was it <laughs> the episode Where the black dude Went undercover And uh, went and talked To the dude at the church Was it that video No nigga, This was a YouTuber yeah. It was just a YouTuber And goddamn, Basically Bro the crazy thing That nigga said Was the black guy Asked that nigga He said Could I be in the KKK and he said, "Well, I don't know. It's one way you probably could be in if they find out. You know, you know, uh, they can send you to the hood because you know y'all be killing each other and shit. Yeah. Was like they'll put you on top of the Humvee. You just be on top, just killing all the niggas and shit." <laughs> and he was just laughing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Double like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Oh, this is a real video. This shit's on YouTube. This shit got millions of views too. Niggas is like, "Boy, what the fuck?" Bro, I think and, I know and the people, video people in the comments about. are saying he's not racist. They say he not racist. He just likes his kind. Oh, that's head ass. We ain't, we ain't even going to entertain that shit. That nigga racist. <laughs> oh, you're not going for that shit, Big King? That nigga racist as hell. Just like his kind? Yeah, he just like his kind. I told Big King that about, they gonna uh, say that when he... about the white athletes. I hate that shit. You know, you already know my stance. <laughs> Fucking, and Joke is just one that month. What what he be doing? What he be so what he do when he got a goddamn use shit that other people made like guns, other races made and shit like that. What he do then? He don't give a fuck, nigga. Yeah. He don't care about shit like that. No, nigga, Mm-mm. he don't give a damn. So if he just like his kind, why he using shit that other races made and shit? Cause he wants to. Nigga. Hold on, we we gotta talk about one more thing though. Okay. We, we play my goddamn song. All right, man. Um, What's up? They gave Ja twenty five days. I'm in twenty five games. Damn, 
That's a quarter of the season, ain't it? That's a third of the season. God damn. Yeah. Shit. It's give or take. It's 82 games in the season. Yeah. 25 yeah. is like a third. It's about a third. would have been a quarter. You can throw the all-star game, in, you know what I'm saying, if you want to. Yeah, he definitely ain't making an all-star game. I don't know. Like I said. Nigga, missing 25 games, he ain't making an all-star game. Like I said, they know he would have made it anyway. They might as well let the nigga make it. I guess. You, I guess. Well, you know the fans vote, so he might. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like fans that vote. nigga hard headed though, bro. <coughs> the thing is, bro, Jaws probably like he's literally a generational talent in the NBA, bro. Like he's like you bro, only you get these players bro. every every now and then. You gotta understand, bro. This nigga, everybody motivated by somebody or at least influenced just because he influenced people. Mm. Shit, somebody influenced this nigga too. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I get what they saying, but they gotta understand that somebody influenced him too. Mm. What if that nigga just come so out? So you say, saying? So you saying NBA young boy influenced him, and that's why he's in the bag? Say, no, what that, are you that, saying? That, then? What I'm saying is, if that is who influenced him, like if he could, what I ain't gonna lie, that YB do be turning me. To, that should be turning me the fuck I, up. I, 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 I. <laughs> So y'all YB. big grown asses be goddamn want to be the shit out YB want to be goddamn uh man see we see we was just talking about street niggas too man we wasn't YB about technically ain't a street nigga you know why because that bitch been on house arrest for like thirty thousand years bro <laughs> that bitch is a nutcase he's yeah. he's the Joker yeah. from Batman not Jokic the Joker from Batman nigga that nigga's just sitting in the house looking stupid nigga making music making music fucking the same head ass bitches. That bitch can't leave the house. That bitch ain't performing. He ain't doing shit. He's going crazy in there, bro. He probably done. He probably don't start a beef with all his friends, bro. Now he bored. He got to start beef with industry niggas. He probably don't got them um, online going crazy, nigga. He probably got burner accounts. He stalking <laughs> yeah, niggas' they, pages. Oh, they say he got burner accounts already. See what I'm saying? That nigga going stupid, nigga. He ain't got shit to do, bro. Yeah, why well, be? But I still fuck with the music though. I mean, is that better being music. is that better being a change every day though, bro? You got to being on house arrest. Hell yeah, being on house arrest in a mansion ain't bad. Nah, that shit ain't really house. I mean, it's house arrest, <laughs> but it ain't really house arrest, <laughs> bro. If I can invite like ten bitches over to have a pool party, that shit ain't really house arrest, bro. Yeah, because I don't know about y'all, but I could stay in my house for a year. That shit would be hard, but I could do it. Nah, it won't even be hard. It would be hard for me. Nigga, I'll post up in this bitch, get drunk, watch YouTube, like what, you can't shoot leave, You can't leave the front yard or like you can't, like, certain, you can't uh, leave it all. You, yeah, he can't leave. Just you like, can't leave the front door? Like you can't leave walk it. out the front oh, door? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do that. Oh. But it's a, um, so it's an ankle monitor and mm-hmm. you basically got there. It's a tracker on it and yeah. you just can't leave the vicinity of your house. I can go out in the yard and shit though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I could do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. I, I mean, a year would be kind of long, though. And they bro. put yeah. him somewhere where he got to get permission for his guests to come over. So, like, he like how you just came over here? He can't do it like that. He gets, like, a list with, like, two or three people on it. I guess his family yeah. members. And then, other than that, it got to be approved by the judge. Yeah. That's cool. I'm about to, I'm about to throw this pool party. I need, I need ten people. They all bitches. Let's run it. You don't think that shit get old, though? How does nigga be? No. How he got all these goddamn kids? He had like uh, asked him before he even went in. I think he got eight or nine. Bro, he got a lot of kids. Some niggas, I was just talking about this earlier. Some niggas just Retired. don't pull out, bro. They just don't give a damn. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, we got a homeboy that got two that got two kids on the way right now. Like, some niggas just don't give a damn, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I be doing that shit. But I gotta stop. What? Not pulling out? Yeah. I mean, that's Can't your girl. Can't even got me on that bitch. Can't even got me on that bitch twice. That's your girl, though. So it's cool. Y'all can have a third. A third actually be a good look for you. But it's expected. I don't know, It's expected for you now. You a family man, bro. You ain't out here just crashing thoughts every night. And, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? I was talking to Katie about this earlier. I was like, man, I might get back in that bag, though. Like, <laughs> for real. <laughs> nah, you can't. Yeah, it's over. I might give it one more run. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you. I, Bro, our homeboy that got two kids on the way, he he went ahead and told us. He said he about to cut his dick off and put that bitch in the mail and send it to somebody else. <laughs> a nigga that can use it. That be gonna get the DNA test. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Nah, bro. Um, hold on. Let me play the song one more time and we gonna get off for real. This gonna be short. Where my song at, man? Where my song at? <laughs> 
All right, man. They finally indicted my nigga Trump, man. Oh yeah, they re- they're doing everything they they can to not let him run again. That's He's what- still gonna be able to run though. Yeah, I know, but you know that uh, you know you know what this is all for, bro. All these charges kind of stupid too, though, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a little bullshit. This shit, this shit. I'm with Trump this time, bro. This shit a witch hunt, dog. <laughs> so first off, this bitch, this bitch signed the NDA, broke her NDA. And now they about to lock him up for that shit. They trying to lock him up for that shit. That's his charge in New York, right? Mm-hmm. So his federal charges is basically like they're, they're trying to say he stole some documents he wasn't supposed to have. And they found a bitch in his bathroom or something. Mm-hmm. They still not telling us what's on the fucking documents. Mm-hmm. It just sounds like some bullshit. And then he hasn't got indicted. No, he, did he just get indicted in Florida? I think it was Georgia. No, he just got indicted somewhere because I seen that. That shit was a federal it. indictment. Yeah, okay. Then. So was, he got indicted in New York it. already. Yeah. He got his federal indictment. And he's supposed to get indicted in Florida and Atlanta, and mm-hmm. they're saying that the one in Georgia is supposed to be like the big indictment, like the charge that's going to stick. And I'm like, so what the fuck is it? Because mm-hmm. this nigga's walking around free, and y'all acting like this nigga's a mass murderer. That's the weird part. Is that I'm like. This nigga walking around like ain't shit going on. <laughs> yeah, like, that just like well, I ain't gonna uh, lie, that nigga bulletproof, bro. I mean, that's what they say. They, they say this, this gonna be the end of his Teflon Donness, though. No, here's the thing: he get out this shit. This nigga's president for the next hundred years, bro. Yeah, miss, yeah, miss Trump. I do, I do. Um, I, I'm not even gonna be scared to admit that shit. Like, I'm gonna keep you it know, a beat you with know, you. You know, back in the day, it was like a little weird to admit that, like, you like Trump. You kind of like him a little bit. Oh, them times is over. Yeah, them times is over with. We see what the fuck we dealing with. This nigga Joe Biden can't barely got down. He can't barely get a sentence out. Bro, my nigga, nigga Sleepy be Joe be passing out. That bitch, <laughs> that bitch be falling all over the place. You seen the shit where he fell, where he was at the Air Force shit? Yes, bro. I'm like, that bitch, bro. That bitch just fell out. I said, yeah. oh, my nigga about to kick the bucket. Yeah, bro. You know what's crazy too? I remember the day he announced he was running for president. He was on the Oprah show, right? Was he on the Oprah I, show? I don't, I'm not sure. I think he was on the Oprah show because me and Trey Trey was in Orlando, Florida, and um, I'm a cute to being with y'all. Just a safe space, bro. I had did so much ecstasy and I was goddamn so drunk the day before. I walked to the fucking Burger King trying to get my mind right. Goddamn, I got a big ass burger. Took one bite and I almost threw up everywhere. everywhere. So, goddamn, I'm just looking at the TV, and I see this nigga Sleepy Joe in there talking about, and she's asking him about prison reform and um, stopping frisk and three-strike rules, Mm -hmm. and he's just in that bitch going crazy, nigga, acting like he ain't never did none of that shit. Yeah. And I said, oh, this nigga might be the next president. Why? I just, I could feel it, bro. Like, Mm -hmm. when I see somebody talk, bro. I could just feel it, dog. Like, and I could see how and they can, can manipulate see, people. You can see the nation too has such a visceral reaction to Donald Trump. Like they couldn't st- like even when Trump they won, just wanted that nigga up out of the even when Trump won. I went to KD. I said, "Bitch, the world might be over, bro." Because <laughs> niggas is mad. Like I was like, bro, no, just because Donald Trump is our president. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If I could pick anybody, I wouldn't pick them. Well, they saying the Rock could be the president too. Yeah. It might we might get there. It might this shit might just turn into a shit show for real, for real. Now, see, I I would be very shocked if the Rock became president. But you know who I wouldn't be shocked became president? What Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, he was, he was I, I, governor at yeah, one point. Yeah, yeah. Or Kane. I wouldn't be shocked about Kane. You either. said Kane. <laughs> yeah, Kane was. I ain't too. gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know why wrestlers they always wanna. Because <laughs> Jesse Ventura, he was like governor of uh, yeah. Minnesota or something. Yeah. Shit. These niggas always go into political office after they get out the wrestling. Bro, game. it's either political office or actors. Yeah, they love this shit. Head ass. Mm-hmm. They horrible actors though. Like John yeah. Cena's the worst actor of all times. Terrible. And and the thing is, he took the rock path. That should be pissing me off because niggas be trying to compare them niggas. I'd be like, it's no comparison. Hey, I, hey, I'm gonna tell you something. Cause I just said this on uh, Main and Slim the other day, bro. The Rock didn't have a easy path into acting. Mm-hmm. Nigga, the Scorpion King probably was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that shit was so bad. That shit was. The CGI was bad. The I acting thought, was bad. I thought that shit was going to be good. Oh, bro, me I too. I begged my mom. That I nigga like, had a mom. ponytail. I said, oh, this shit about to be fire. I said, mom, please, let's go to the movies. And she said, you know what, baby? Let's go. We got up. We walked to the movie theater because we stayed in Germany at the time. Yeah. So we walked to the movie theater. We walked in that bitch. one. nobody in that bitch. 
I was like, damn, why ain't nobody here? I said, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I went and got the biggest <laughs> bucket of popcorn. I dumped the ass of butter and cheddar in that bitch. I went to the goddamn middle of the goddamn row, my favorite seat. And I looked at that bullshit. I said, Mom, what the fuck is this? <laughs> that fucking disgusting and ass. And you know CGI. they made like three of them motherfuckers. Yeah. They that kept, shit was they ass. They kept rebooting bro. them bitches. So, what was his big break? The Rock, I think. The one that really put him on, let me think. The one that really uh, training put him day. On. <laughs> <laughs> nah, when he the one where he had them kids, the gridiron game, whatever that was. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the gridiron yeah, yeah. that put him on. That yeah. put him on. Okay, yeah. okay. Because he actually had to like it that. was like a drama, so he mm-hmm. had to be like a coach. Yeah. That one, that one did actually put him on a little bit because that one was like, all right, this nigga can really act. Okay. He not just a big retarded nigga. What's the other movie he had when he was in them big ass tanks going through like that town over uh, overseas? Oh, what's the nah. Movie? What's the movie? Uh, I don't know what you' talking about, bro. But it's also the movie where goddamn he came into town and some like thugs took it over and he goddamn had like some weapon and he was beating everybody up and shit. I remember. I know what you' talking about. I don't yeah. know what you' talking about, Damo. You know what movie I'm talking about? He had a big ass truck. And he was going through like a village or some shit. Damn, I forget the name of that shit, bro. <laughs> But I think, but I think the movie that took him over the top and really got him into superstar mode was uh, one of them Fast and the Furious movies. I knew you was gonna say that bullshit. I hate Sorry, that bro. Nah. I do too, bro. I can't say that bullshit. Yeah, but uh, that's what took him over the top, bro. But he had a good yeah. supporting cast though. With, with Fast Why the Fury, fuck do man. we keep buying them tickets? Why do we keep going back? Next thing you, you know, these niggas, niggas, these niggas putting cars in space. You asking the These wrong These niggas put niggas. cars everywhere. It ain't even about racing. Hey, you remember bro. when the first movie, it was about street racing. That shit was hard. That nigga yeah. Paul Walker was the goddamn cute white boy uh-huh. with the goddamn, he could drive like a motherfucker. Ben Diesel was a gangster. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That That's the that's what I like. Now these niggas driving cars in space. These niggas got them doing all kind of shit. And I'm like, bro, this shit ain't even about. I ain't about- that shit past five, bro. Yeah, yeah, really. I ain't, I ain't really- seen that shit past Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was hard, though. Which, which one start? Which one started when they got them on the highway? You know, like it had the girl and she was driving her car jumped up in the air. That was the first one. No, nah, that was not the first one. I thought that was the first. one I don't even remember what the first one was. Nah, hell no. Nah. The first one was when uh he had it started red with car. Paul Walker was like he was like a goddamn uh a, a cop. Bad, a, yeah, he was a cop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Which one he had a red car in? That was the first one. The first one was red car, right? Yeah. Okay. It, I think it was. It's almost slow. The only, the only good ones was. <laughs> nah, because I be trying to. The first, so the first one was good. The one with Tyrese was good, and then Tokyo Drift. Too fast, too furious with yeah. Tyrese and Ludacris. That shit was hard. Yeah, that bitch was good. That shit was hard. That bitch was good. And after that, Tokyo Drift was the only other one that was good. So how y'all feel about John Wick? That shit getting out of hand too. People just like. They just like carrying shit on forever. Hey, if this is a safe space, I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. I ain't never seen a John Wick movie in my life. I seen the first one. Bro, all I, all I, I know I is niggas, niggas keep going on with these Rocky 7s and 8s and 9s and mm-hmm. 10s. I'm done, bro. Yeah. I don't want to see Creed neither. Get Michael B. Watch, the fuck I out Creed. of here. But I, I Creed. get why they do that Creed shit, Creed 3 It's on Amazon Prime, if y'all ain't know. I'll but watch it. I'll say this. It was kind of trash. But... <laughs> I'll say for his first project, good job. Okay. That was his first time directing and his own project, all that type shit. That was, it was a good job. It, it a, still was a trash movie, though. I'm going to tell y'all a movie that's really good and be keen about me mad as fuck. What? The new white man can't jump. I like the new... Uh, I ain't going to lie. But he's funny it. as fuck. I'm sorry. Who? Who? The white boy. He's Harlo. funny. Jack Harlow is funny. Bruh. He's America's I I, sweetheart. I think I seen that shit. I can't remember. I don't know how to it's feel really about. Good. I don't know how to feel about Harlow. It's really good. Bro. I want to like him. I want to like him. I like Harlow, bro. I want to like him. My bad, Big Keen. I like Harlow, dog. Bro, if he would just drop some hard music, I would be on his team. He has been dropping hard shit. He no, the only shit he's ever dropped hard that was the shit with Drake. Bro, you like first H-T-L. class. Oh, you know, like, uh, uh, all that right, shit hard, it's, it's all right. He should have put G Easy on that bitch too. G Easy, my nigga. Yeah, G Easy. They asked my yeah. nigga G Easy. They off. said, they said, was you in that? Was you in that boat snoring coke? G Easy said, what the fuck it looked like? <laughs> I said, oh, that's my nigga, bro. <laughs> fuck these people. See, happy birthday, this Tupac, nigga. nigga. Ass, bro. bro, Tupac opened the door for everybody to just be themselves, bro. 
Including Jack Harlow? Jack Harlow and Jeezy. Man, you got that shit. <laughs> Harlow, Harlow ain't bad, but I just need to hear some heat, bro. He ain't dropped no, like, some shit that give me chills. I got to hear that. Drake, Kendrick, Cole, all these niggas that drop shit that you give me chills. You think Jack Harlow about to drop that type of shit? Nigga, if you want to be a top rapper, to me, you got to drop some bro, shit Bro, have you ever been chills. to Kentucky before? No. We need to go. I even you even, see. even Damo and gave me some goddamn shit that gave me chills. What? You wanna know which one? What? You wanna pay? You gotta play. I fucking hate that song. And then, and then, Everybody and like then. that bad ass song. That shit me. hard, bro. I hate that song, nigga. Bro. I don't even Damo, get why y'all like that song so much? Cause it's hard, nigga. It's hard. The soldiers ain't record for T. That what I'm saying, bro. He don't, bro. Damo, he don't know, bro. He really don't get it. <laughs> he really don't weird. get it. No, that's a hard, bro. If Damo was like at least a, a C list rapper, that hey, shit would have went. That shit would have went. Let crazy. me tell you some shit, bro. This one I knew that that bullshit ass song was like Look, some shit niggas fuck shit with. Like now I'm just gonna keep it a bean with you, everybody, bro. Everybody, he he saying everybody like it, but he's saying it's a bullshit ass song, bro. This is what fucked me up. What? Studio was still open, right? Yeah, and I never heard the song. Mm-hmm. Like so. Goddamn, this nigga, this nigga Lil Nah came up to me. We was talking, and that nigga was like, "Hey, bro, whatever you do, you need to shoot a video to that. You uh, that goddamn uh, you want to play? You gotta uh, pay shit." And I said, "What the fuck is that?" And he was like, "That Damo song, that bit hard. <laughs> that nigga. shit hard as fuck." And I was like, "Nigga, I said I ain't never even heard that bullshit." Yeah. He said, "Nigga, you ain't heard that shit." <laughs> then Reggie walked up and was like, "Bro, you gotta hear that shit still. That bit go." I said, "Man, these niggas tripping." I went back inside the goddamn bar, got a drink, and these niggas was hard. outside, got them jigging to that bitch. I said, oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Nigga, then, then, fashion, new bro, wanna crash not him. even a couple days later, this nigga Benny Hunter calls me, and this nigga goes, hey, Slim, you want to pay? You got to pay? <laughs> I said, what? I said, what the fuck is this? And Ben was like, Slim, that this shit is so hard, bro. That shit a motherfucking hit. Man, that nigga Ben told me he was going to get Damo X amount of money for the song. I said, bro. He wanted see, that bitch. Now y'all niggas going too far, bro. Yeah. Everybody knew shit. Chrome Heart. That shit. I don't know why. Yeah. I never. I never I thought like Chrome it. Heart too. I, I never even thought when I made Chrome Heart. Everybody loved. Man, Ben shit. told me the reason why I don't be getting behind Domo is because I know him. I said that's probably true because there's a couple niggas I think make great music, but goddamn, I know them niggas, so I don't want to hear that bullshit. You you always get behind the lame ass niggas. <laughs> That should be weird. Nah, as that's first class. No, that's cap. that's weird. Like he always get behind some Wayne man. I'd be like, this nigga. Hey man, lame. I'm gonna say this shit, bro. This dude's a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> the what only, are you doing? The only nigga music I really listen to locally, like religiously. I know, I know who it is. I, it's only who? one, two, him. Yeah, I ain't, really, only I ain't never really listen to. Locally, I ain't never bro. really listen to him. So bro, I, I listen really. to him every day, bro. Oh, you hear that, bro? That nigga just—he sound like three stacks, but he got them. He flow like crit, bro. Mm-hmm. He's so laid back and shit. This is bro, nigga. then like he really makes music, bro. He remind mm-hmm. me like I a, fuck with like that a, shit. A, like a kind of like a black ass Mac Miller, like but just okay, kinda, yeah, like, just yeah. Out, I could bro. see that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some shit you put on yeah. subtle. You just fucking ride, you know what I'm saying? Road trip that bitch out, you just ride out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. If I had, if I had to say like a nigga locally, I listen to. It's him. Um, I listen to Trues a lot too. I listen to Trues. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to Trues. Who else I listen to? That's probably it. I listen to. I ain't gonna lie. I, I it's it's a couple niggas I got like personal relationships with, and they got like a song or two I really fuck with. Like that nigga Jip got a song I fuck with real hard. Shout out Jip, man. Yeah, Shout he got a song I fuck with real hard, and um. It's a couple more people, man. Believe it or not, I still listen to Chuck and Quay. Ah, uh, yeah, they old shit. I still, I still listen to them niggas. That's all they got now, is old shit. They ain't yeah, dropping nothing new. Yeah, no. them niggas don't even do music no more. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a couple niggas I, I listen to their music, bro. Like here and there, but like religiously, them three niggas I just named four niggas. Yeah, Damo. Oh, Benny Hunter too. I listen oh, to Benny Ben shit be going stupid. I, I be listen. Forgetting. I listen. I listen nah, to Ben. Shit be ben yeah, Ben makes shit that I love. Like you know, I love that type. Like shit, that's my type. I put. Shit. I put. Uh, I put Ben song on my um latest vlog. It ain't came out yet, but mm-hmm. it's probably gonna be out when this come out. But yeah, I put his song on there. 
Yeah, Bambi. Oh, hard. oh, another name too. Before I forget, my nigga Sabo. Bro, oh, my nigga Sabo, Sabo world, yeah. My nigga Sabo world, Sabo bro. Go he got some music that's like really timeless, and that shit just make me feel good. Oh yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. It I made love. like if you ever like like bro, you ever had them days where like shit just kind of slow, and you mm. ain't really like feeling good. Your pockets a little low. When he I listen feel to like, Sabo, shit, I ain't. yeah, he made me feel like shit, like cool, like yeah. bro, shit gonna get better, yeah, bro. Yeah, and it's like right. I just got them. You know, it's like some good shit just happened as soon as I listen to that yeah. shit. And he just a positive brother, dog. Yeah, like that, that dream catcher go fucking stupid. That shit hard. And you know what's crazy, bro? I met Sabo dad, bro. First time I met that nigga dad. I couldn't believe that shit. That nigga was like Sabo, but Super Saiyan folk. <laughs> like for real, bro. And that nigga, like, hey. and I ain't even know bro was a preacher, bro. Cause like yeah. he was just talking to me, like, cause we went to a, uh, he did a, a, a bike race. Mm -hmm. We went to the bike race and we walked from downtown. Um, I don't want to get a nigga location, but he stays downtown and we walked all the way to where the bike race was. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, damn. I was like, that nigga just was talking, and I just like, man, I do need to do that, man. Like, damn. And some people just make me, like, I just be like, man, I need to be a better person, man. This nigga mm -hmm. so positive and shit. Nigga yeah. feel good. You feel like you know uplifting. Yeah. yeah. Like, they just uplifting people, and they carefree. Like, another person that make me feel like that is Damo Aunt, bro. Bro, Which she. One? Uh, Turk, the one. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Turk Mama, dog. She's the most beautiful person I've ever met yeah, in my life. Very positive. Hands down. Like, mm -hmm. bro, it's crazy, bro. I remember I got in, walked in the house. It was snowing one time. I, I walked upstairs to get some food. Another day, Damo made that bap ass shitty called Indian food. <laughs> I walked over there because I was hungry. And she was in there, like, doing some aerobic shit. Mm -hmm. But she didn't even know I was there. Yeah. And I walked in. She didn't even jump. She turned around and she said, Oh, hey, Slim. And she just kept doing her aerobic shit. And I'm like, this lady just carefree as fuck. Yeah. She don't think nothing's gonna happen in the world. Like she don't. She just, just an amazing person, bro. Always positive. And I done seen her in one of the worst situations ever. And mm -hmm. she always just positive as fuck. Give you a hug. Like fuck with everybody. I ain't gonna lie. The only time I seen her, goddamn, like a little distraught, was the last time I seen her. Mm -hmm. She came to Damo crib, and it was a whole bunch of. Niggas that belong in hell in there. A whole bunch of A Street shit. A whole bunch of A Street was going on. And she walked up to me and she was like, Slim, who the fuck is these niggas? She didn't <laughs> she didn't say that. But, but you know that's what she thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. what she meant. Yeah. And I was just like, Hey man, this Damo crew. I said, This Damo crew slash free the crew. And she was like, Man, come outside, Slim. Like she didn't even want to talk to that motherfucker. Yeah. She was like, Come outside, Slim. And that's when I was like, damn, she ain't never like she ain't really like, and then that's what I also told her. Like, man, you don't need to be outside by yourself out here, by it's a little rough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But shout out to them though, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Damo. You don't need to have your own crew, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, Damo, you got to be a part of a crew, bro. You can't lead your Damo, own crew. But you know what I always love about you, bro. That should be anarchy, bro. You know you're not a leader. Yeah. A lot of niggas need to be like that. <laughs> I just, wait, I just wake up and do what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Because, bro, you don't need to run shit. You don't need to, bro, to keep it a beam, Don't bro, give no nigga no advice. Don't, nigga, don't give no nigga no advice. And that's, bro, that's what I love about you. You ain't never gave me advice ever. I ain't never gave you ain't never no tried to be nothing. Bro, all you ever did for me was you knew goddamn I was going through some shit, and you just made me laugh. You knew that's all you had to offer me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy for that. Yeah. Because you don't offer nobody else shit. <laughs> you can just make a nigga laugh. <laughs> You know he got to get disrespectful for the pot over with. <laughs> nah, that's not yeah, disrespectful. That's true. That's that's all right. <laughs> but I'm just, I am gonna say though, Damo should not be the leader of anybody's crew. No, I just wake up and do what I want to do. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You need to reevaluate your life if you run around ripping and running with Damo. And I've seen niggas follow Damo. Oh yeah, but luckily. It's, it's getting worse Nigga, that's, But the thing is That's why you saying Damo's not a leader Damo is a natural leader Because niggas follow Damo I didn't seen Face do it I didn't seen Webb do it I didn't seen all kind of niggas do it Hey man I ain't talking about None of them people you just named <laughs> But the people that be following Damo Be here that They baby. be lost bro yeah. Like the worst people I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna We gonna keep another one My nigga Blue no, oh, no, 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 no. This nigga blue. We gonna skip over that. This nigga blue. Nah, put leave that shit in. No, blue, no, you be fuck, You be fucking following with Damo, bro. That's no, true. That's true. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. Yes, he, bro. Blue nah, don't got. You know, but you know, blue don't got no kind of motion without you, bro. That nigga ain't got no motion. 
I and I be feeling bad too because I wanted to tell bro last night like bro you ain't got shit to do bro yeah like why you come that bitch ain't got Domo? no motion without Damo but but you know who the worst person to follow Damo was who them freshmen when we was in college. I feel so oh, bad yeah. for little kids. <laughs> I was like, bro, y'all niggas ain't even tried to go to class yeah. yet. Y'all ain't even tried. You niggas yeah. is 18. Y'all ain't even tried to go to class yet. Yeah. And y'all fucking with Damo like. Smoking dope. <laughs> <laughs> niggas getting bottles and shit. Yeah. Take me to the line. Take me to the line. Yeah. So we can't say that. Damo is a natural leader. He's just, no. very, he's just bad at it. <laughs> he's just very bad. bad. I'm, not bad I'm not bad at being a leader because I'm not a leader. I just... <laughs> I just do what I just wake up and do whatever I want to do. And niggas be like, "Damn, that shit cool." Hey, Blue. And now, if you listen to this part, Blue, that shit Damo just said was P. Yeah. <laughs> what P is? <laughs> Did you just hear Damo say, "I ain't better being a leader because I ain't fucking one." Yeah. That was P. <laughs> that was the realest shit I ever heard Damo say. I just yeah. wake up. And a lot do. of niggas don't admit that type of shit. Yeah, I just wake up and shit. do what I want to do every day. So whatever yeah. that is, I mean, fuck it. And niggas be like, "Damn, man, I want to be just like him." I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit before we get off too, though. What? I never wanted to be a leader. It just happens. It falls in your lap. Like I never wanted to be no nigga yeah. who niggas like follow. Niggas wanted to be mm-hmm. around. None of that shit. And when I realized that was going on, because the two people that made me realize that was going on was my nigga Leon and my nigga Serge. And when I finally realized it, I said, "Bro, okay, I'm a leader. I'm trash as fuck. <laughs> uh, I do the most horrible shit." Mm-hmm. It's too late I'm 18 years old I done been in jail already I got a felony I done got them Fucked all these niggas lives up Yeah Nigga everybody done dropped out of school with me <laughs> You know what I'm saying yeah. Like Nigga I'm not Mahatma Gandhi mm-hmm. I'm not that nigga You know what I'm saying Then that's when you start figuring out Then you start looking at your brothers You like Damn these niggas wanna game bang now These niggas wanna sell drugs They doing head ass shit Like yeah. I'm like Boy I'm trash as fuck nigga Niggas been following me since I was 13, and I just realized that shit at 18. Mm-hmm. You a kid, though, bro. Yeah. And man. that's what I realized. Like, I grew up, like, when I was growing up, of course, I was, I was like a natural leader, but, like, I realized that I was leading the way my father led. Which is never good. No. Them niggas are terrible because they just, like, forceful dictatorship type shit. And you got to, you, and then you realize, like, that's why, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it that's don't matter. They the first people to have shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Like, they probably had to do so much shit to get to where they at now. Yeah. Hey, that's probably why it's like that. But I, I learned a lot from, I learned a lot of lessons from bad leaders just because I learned how to be a better friend, nigga. Like, it's not even about that. It's about being a better friend, being a better person, looking out for your niggas and goddamn. That's the, that's why niggas vibe with me. Like, bro, I could like literally, bro, I will always have friends because the type of person I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, it's just, you got to have a good spirit. That's all it's about. Yeah, that's what it's really about. Man. Yeah, you got to have a good spirit, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie. I've been on some positive shit lately, and I'm still mean as fuck. <laughs> but I've been positive. Yeah, that's. I've been positive, bro. That nigga, no, I'm going to tell that nigga, I've been on some positive shit lately. Bro. Positively evil, my nigga. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It's self blue. <laughs> yeah, he be on blue ass, ain't it? See, that's why I think I've where been I, that's why I see it. on blue ass though. <laughs> that's why I be seeing it because he always in the group chat, fucking jiving on blue or some sort of shit. Nah, I ain't been doing that shit lately though. Yeah, you have bro, been coming down fit, though. The fit he showed me the other day, bro, with the nigga had to goddamn yank the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's talking about? No. The video I sent you, and the nigga had the drawers with his stains. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's fuck, big man? nigga uniform, bro. <laughs> Bro, the whole thing, bro. The whole fucking yeah, thing, bro. Yeah. I said, bro, this shit is fucking Hey, man, let's get up out of here, man. That's all we got for the Law Order episode, a.k.a. the uh, alcoholic episode. Yeah. <laughs> and we out, man.